Press it. All right. Let's hit it. Yeah, Jake different. <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. We want to give double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We want to say peace, mercy, and blessings to all the hopeful elect out there. God. Right, to the Bayaf Shah Dawa to the house of David. Right, to the elders, to the bishop, to the leadership, you know, of, of Great Millstone, and of course, all the Akim that are teaching this truth, whether you're under the banner of Great Millstone or, or not. Right. All right, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. All right, and we're just out here for our people, so called ne Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. We're the Israelites, according to the Bible. All right, according to the Bible, you're God's chosen people. All right, we're just out here to give you the message from the book. Mm -hmm. We out here contending for the faith. Can you give me that in June? I believe it's one and four. Yep. You know, because, uh, hey, a lot happened this week. You know, and we today is February 3rd of 2024. All right, and this is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right. Okay, you just had a recent bombing in Syria. You got a lot of controversy amongst the Jews and the Greeks, you know, the, the Israelites. You got guys saying that Paul's writings are not authoritative, so you don't respect the authority of the of the scriptures, right? You might as well just come out and say that you're Old Testament Israelites, you know? This <clears throat> this is the book of Jude and verse 3. Jude 1 and verse 3, it says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation. He said, he said, all diligence. Yeah. So that's why you got to be diligent in this thing, you know, not in this, uh, you know, slow kind of motion, get around to it when I feel like it. That's what makes you a servant is when you're doing something when the flesh don't want to, you know. So Paul was a very diligent servant of Yahweh Basham El Shai, and we come under that same stead in the spirit. So this is why now guys question the doctrine of what you know as Great Millstone like they question the doctrine of Apostle Paul or the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Didn't they say that he came with his own doctrine? And then they say they continue steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. Uh, continue what thou hast learned. But it says they shall switch it up in the end days. You know, remixing it. <clears throat> oh, um, that's a seducing spirit. Can yep. you give me that Bible for yep. you know Yeah. Water. You have a lot of seducing spirits out here. Can you read that again? Yep. We're going to go into some words, man. Jude 1 and verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith. Right, honestly contend. Now, if you're contending, right, you have a number one contender, yep. you're fighting. So this is a fight. This is a spiritual battle right, uh, right here, okay? We're in the month of February, one of the coldest mm -hmm. months. You know, but hey, y'all by Shimon El Shah blessed us with a, with a decent day. Yeah. You know? And uh, I'm going to look up that word contend in the blue letter. Oh, that word's fire. I was going into that the other day. Water. Literally goes into a match, you know, entering okay, a match. There we go. Okay, the word there is, uh, I'll let Esau say it. G1864. The Bible needs a mind. The Bible needs a mind. The word there is a pago needs a mind. In the Greek, it means to contend, to struggle for it. To earnestly contend for so we out here struggling earnestly fighting to give you the true gospel and it's all purity all right the definition of word of the word gospel means good news okay what's the good news is that the heavenly father yahweh sent his only begotten son yahweh shy to die on the cross for the sins of his whole people and in thus soon and in thus doing so he had broken down the middle wall of protection mm. okay and that's the, and that's the division between uh, pretty much Jew and Greek, all right? The Israelites that know that they're Israelites and the Israelite foreigners, okay? So that everyone could come in, not all nations, okay? Just just the di diaspora, because there was a, a portion of our people who got scattered and they begin to keep the, the customs, the mannerisms, and speak the language of, of the heathens, even so much as worshiping their gods, okay? Got something? I got the, yep, I got the precept you wanted. This is the book of Ephesians, Chapter 2, 
and verse 14, it says, For he is our peace, who hath made, uh, who hath made both one, and have broken down the, the middle wall of partition between us. Right, the middle wall of partition. When you look up the definition of, of a partition, guess what it is? It's a hedge, a fence, okay? Because, let me get my sword real quick. Hey, God, keep uh, reading, brother. Read that again. I got you. Yep. Ephesians 2 and 14, it says, For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and had broken down the middle wall of partition. Right, because there was always a separation between the Israelites, okay, and, and the other heathen nations. But this is what you have to understand about our New Testament, okay? When it speaks about uh, Gentiles and Greeks, those are actually the Israelites, man. All right, those are not uh, uh, Japheth, all right? Those are not Edomites. Those are Israelites that have been scattered, okay? And to prove that, let's go into the Thermagrees. Yeah. Let's get some of that history. Yeah. You know? And it says, uh, and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity. Well, let me say this, uh, breaking down that wall, it's like when you do construction, yeah. you're expanding the room for more access to the living quarters. You know, like they call it on a house, an addition. So you expanded the living situation so that uh, more can come in. You know, and, and this is what they're trying to stop. That's why Yahweh Shai said uh, they shut up the gates of heaven. Yep. And let me also say this. We all were strangers. Right. Being an African-American is a stranger. Yep. Okay. That's a stranger. Being black. You know. Right. I'm black, y'all. Yep. It's black history, man, right? You, Our people are, are strangers, man. Yep. You know? Yep. So I'm going to read right here in, in the ledger. It says uh, for Ephesians 2 and... Um, What's that 14 you were reading? Yeah, verse 14. Okay, it says the passage emphasizes the centrality of Yahweh Shah Hamasiah, because the name is not Jesus. The letter J is the oh, youngest wow. letter in the oh, alphabet. Wow. All right, the letter J is only roughly maybe 400 years old. Right, so the letter J was not even in hey, the 1611 KJV. The name there was Iesus. Okay, so the name of, of, of our Lord and Savior is Yahweh Shah, which means he delivers. All right. And Christ is a Greek word for anointed. The Hebrew yeah. word there is a masiak. It says, this passage emphasizes the centrality of Yahweh Shai HaMasiach and bringing Gentiles and Jews and Jews together. Right? It says, not only with one another, but also with, with uh, our power, Yahweh. HaMasiach is both our peace and our peacemaker. Mm -hmm. His reconciling death on the cross has made the two Jews and Gentiles into one. Well, that's why it says in Isaiah 9 and 6, he's the Prince of Peace. So he brought peace back to the nation of Israel between them and the Father, their God. So it's very important. And then the men that the Lord used to usher that in is very important. That's why Apostle Paul was the apostle unto the Gentiles. But then when you say Apostle Paul's writings don't uh, have authoritative ship, well, now you're bringing, you're doting about with doubtful questions. You're taking away from the word, straight up. Yep. That's Revelation, what, 22 and 19? Yep. You're, you're taking away from the word, and, and, and that's a seducing spirit. Yep. Well, I you're got putting this. Put the water. You want it? Yep. This is uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 1. Which this is what? Uh, is it Paul writing to Timothy? Yep. You know? What's the New Testament, man, when you read the book of Hebrews, you can't, you can't tell me that that's not it inspired by the holy spirit yeah, that's a high level book it breaks down how you how shy is now our high priest I, I, hebrews is so high level i could see it being in the old testament preparing us for what was coming in the new you know that's basically what it what it was it was breaking it down you know the priesthood how you how shy is melchizedek you know and apostle paul wasn't even a priest right so guys are all high on this which we're all priests but you got certain guys that are taken into another level as if you have more understanding than the next man. But what y'all brothers are witnessing is the Holy Spirit's being rejected in real time. That's what you're witnessing. Yeah. Remember they said that the revolution won't be televised? Yeah. Well, the rejection of the Holy Spirit has been televised. You're witnessing it. Then the nigga said, cop my merch, the whole armor. But that's what Apostle Paul said right. to the Ephesians. Right. But he don't got authority, but his words is, is, is good enough for you to put it on a shirt so you can walk around with fringes on in the house. Oh, there you use Philippians, what's that, 4 and 13? You know? Yep, I got you if you want it. Yes. 
This is 1 Timothy 4 in verse 1. Now the Spirit, uh, but he don't have authority. Well, I'm not writing it myself. I'm writing through the Holy Spirit. Right, and that's how we receive these breakdowns, through the Spirit. And that's then, how Paul got the revelation, through the Spirit. Yep. Through the Kakodash, right? And then how many letters did Paul write in prison? He wrote Ephesians while he was locked up. Yeah. And you know, Jake, the most spiritual when they're in prison. Yep. You yep. know, like you holier, you know what I mean? Like you yep. on one. Jake read everything. Yeah. <laughs> you humble. Yeah. Oh, my bad, brother. My bad. You praying more. I've been trying to get home. You know what I mean? Yeah. You working out. <laughs> you you become one with your God. Yep. But that's not authority. That's authority, man. First Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith so we're in the latter times right so you have many that are departing from the faith and guess what the latter times actually started when you how shy got on that cross two thousand years ago yep so how much more now and here in the latter seconds all right so people are departing from the faith less than left and right keep going yep and it says um uh from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits right so let's name some seducing spirits oh uh, paul is not uh, authority you could call on jesus christ all right uh man worship the new moon is the full moon all right sex on the sabbath sex on the sabbath you could call on christ the hell call doctrine. On the oh, hell doctrine now nate said uh we know it's either yahweh shy or yehoshua but it's like that's a seducing spirit because somebody who has a zeal but not according to knowledge and may look at you as a elder of edification will take that for face value and now you feel well the name is not that important you can't do that it's either con or la mm -hmm. that's what yahweh shai told us and the same with the new testament because you're putting the spirit out there like we shouldn't respect paul's writing as being authoritative well they're going to disregard the new testament so pretty much you might as well just come out and say that you guys are old testament israelites man and that's why you push the priesthood so hard well you got jake that say uh we don't have 100 percent truth you've heard that right but my question is, do y'all brothers, do, do, is there 100% uh, uh, false right now? Is there 100% lies in the earth right now? Absolutely. So the Lord, Proverbs 11, is a God of duality. So there's not going to be 100% truth somewhere in the midst of 100% lies? Come on. Exactly. It says, exactly. It says the gates of hell shall not prevail. prevail. You know? Yep. And a little more. And then I got one more for you. It says... Uh, giving heed so you got to be careful not to give heed to this yeah. you know you got you got to be mindful of, of what you know you're letting up here man. yeah what you let in your heart you can't be open-minded to everything nope. only to this word yep. you know what i'm saying yep. it says uh uh giving heed to seducing spirits man, don't be watching deacon hakaz rap videos no right. <laughs> because you'll start wearing fringes in the house you start all uh, wanting the bins yeah 2010 yeah yeah well you'll see if you notice which i'm not dissing or nothing but uh, the guys under starting with alizar they're miniature alizars yeah. right they look they like the one got the one brother you know he's an israelite but out there i think sakari uh tampa or miami he's like a miniature alizar literally y'all can't see that like bro you're following you're following a grave you don't that's why yahweh Shai said you're as graves and appear not and we're in, we're entering a time where the guys that Jake is following is just going to disappear. Like, damn, where'd he go? Remember the one dude that was like low-key famous? He went viral. It was the Jake with the glasses and like the dark room. And like he was breaking down how we're the Israelites yeah. and we're like the X-Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now the dude's yeah. doing like hydroponics and yeah. shit. Like, yeah. he's yeah. gone. Yep. He's gone. But that's the point. Jake, you know what I mean? Guys, hey, Jake followed uh, uh, GOCC recall to Egypt and got left out there. Y'all know that? Yeah. He took their ass out there. He said, let me hold your passport real quick. I just want to look at it. Woke up and they were stranded. They were stranded. So you got to watch who you're following. You know? That's right. <clears throat> Says giving heed to seducing spirits. Oh, and that, that, that links up with Matthew 24 and 6. There shall rise many false Christs and shall deceive many. Yep. You know? I'm anointed. I got the truth. And let's, let's also start bringing up how Nate was uh, nickel and diamond the truth back in the 2000s uh, and doing five minute videos and then you had to pay to get the rest of the breakdown. So he took the Bible and was in the Nino Brown lab, 
had Pookie watching over him, right? And he was dropping it in little baggies and selling that shit. Right. Little, so basically. Little bits and pieces. That's, you know? yo, to me, that's offensive because this is for our salvation. You want, you want to try to fucking, you want to try to jerk me on me making it for some bitch ass FRN notes that are about to change? That's foul, man. Brothers should be offended what men are doing with this beautiful word, you know? Because it's your salvation too, <laughs> you know? It says, um, that's Deuteronomy 13. Yeah. Coming up with another God. Yep. Money. Yep. Or God is their money. Yep. You know? Boosie prayed to it, remember? He was praying on the bed full of money. Yeah. Then the nigga said, uh, I, I don't care what God says. Years later, started eating pork. I think he got like gout. And now the nigga said, pray for me, y'all. Right. <laughs> Bruh. He called cancer too. Oh, see? Then well, he got locked is. up. Then he was asking for prayer. Right, through Akon. Then he got <laughs> shot in the leg, remember? He see? Got shot in the leg. Bruh. It says, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's a doctrine of devils, man. All right, for you to, for you to disregard uh, Paul's writing, who, who mind you, uh, if you want to get X9, let's just go into it, Paul, for sure. Mind you, um, Yahweh Shai came to Paul after he went to the right hand of Yahweh. You know? He was down here in the flesh with, with his 12. It says in Acts, he's still with the apostles uh, 40 days after he had risen. You know? Yep. Actually, I'll start at one. Okay. This is Acts 9 and verse 1. I'm gonna go into this a little bit. <clears throat> Let's break it down, man. Yep. You know, for you unbelievers out there. Yep. Well, we only it's only for the believers anyway. Yep. But we're gonna edify. Right. You know? We're not uh tap dancing around. And that's another thing, uh Deacon Akai was mad because he said GMS don't debate. Well, that's because we have authority. Right. You don't debate with a police officer. Because he has authority. Right. See? So why would we debate? There's nothing to debate about. This is what it is. We came not uh, to be ministered, but to, to, to minister to. You know, we're here to minister unto you. Not, you know? Disrespectful. Yeah. Well, he said, uh, he said, I'll give any notable member of GMS a thousand dollars to have a sit down for a half an hour. And the first thing came to my mind is you got a thousand dollars to give away for uh, a brother to sit down and talk with you, but you didn't have a thousand dollars when your camp equipment so-called got stolen, yep. and you had to make a GoFundMe for six grand and end up giving a hundred thousand. And did you give that money back? That's all a money grab, because because you're trying to get a brother on your platform for what? For YouTube? Yep. Views, Monetization to, to generate more money. Yep. You know. Yep. Acts nine and one, and Saul, yet breathing out threatenings. And slaughter against the disciples of the Lord. See, it's spiritual. It's all going to tie in together. Because even in the book of Ephesians, it talks about what? Putting on a new man. We have become, a, I was just praising you how about Shimei I was shot for that earlier, man. Coming into this truth, I don't do the things I did in the world. Neither did I, do I desire to do them. Right. You know, for example, such as smoking or, you know, for a light example. But when you come into this, you really have to change. Your, your diet has to change. Your mindset has to change. What do you think? What do you treat brothers? What do you treat yourself? You know? What's funny is you got a lot of these Israelite, the t-shirt gang, and a lot of those men that are standing posts are still Gentiles. They're actually, so they got mad at Apostle Paul for bringing, uh, what was my man, Timothy, uh, Tim, Triumphus. Triumphus, the water, uh, into the temple. But y'all bringing them to the Passovers, yep. to the camp, the barbecue. to barbecue. And these men don't know nothing. They just got t-shirts and fringes on yelling, that's right. That's it. And, and the bulletproof vest. And a bulletproof vest on <laughs> that says Sakari. Is it stab proof? Like 50 it, right. It says, um, and went unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogue, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them <coughs> bound unto Jerusalem. Right, because before Saul became Paul, what was he doing? He was persecuting the church. But he was doing it out of ignorance because he was very zealous for the Lord, not understanding that he needed Yahweh Shai as his high priest. You know, because he, because we could use Deuteronomy 13 because how he killed Stephen. You know? Uh, yep. Yeah. And that's what the biggest gripe was with Jake with Yahweh Shai. Because yeah. he said he called himself the son of, of the of the a son of man, the yeah. son of God, if you will. Right. So some didn't understand prophecy. He said if you understood uh Moses' writings, then you would understand mine. You know and it says um, 
And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. Right, so it knocked him off his high horse, which I believe that's where that saying comes from. A lot of these sayings out here, they come from the scriptures. Yeah, you know, yeah. Which it was a chariot. Uh, there's two, like that's, to be honest, like you said, they did it out of ignorance, but that's like, Somebody walking up to you and saying, I'm the son of you know, God. You'd be looking like, you was in flesh. You're a man. You would think that. Yep. But they didn't allow his miracle to be a, a testament of who he was. They didn't allow you know, the great things he did to show case, like proving, you know, like, like they said, I need, I need proof. I need right. that. They didn't allow that to set in. That's why uh, Yahweh Shai told Peter, he said, blessed are your eyes. Because flesh and blood hasn't revealed this unto you, but my Father in heaven. The Spirit. The Spirit revealed it. Right. That's why Peter had the right uh, to um, to judge Ananias and Sapphira in Acts 5. Because you need uh, uh, two or three witnesses when you bring an accusation up. But Peter didn't have two or three witnesses when he brought that uh, accusation against Ananias. But the Spirit revealed it unto him. That's why he dropped dead. Then he asked his his wife. She lied. So he said, the feet that carried your husband are at the door for you. Then she dropped dead. That's the scene in the Matrix. You know, with Apex and uh, old girl. But remember, John 8. John 8, Yahweh Shai said, my father is uh, bears witness of me. So he was confounding Jake through the spirit back then. You know, so like now, I don't have to get another witness to prove the point that I'm making in the spirit because the Holy Spirit's my witness. You know? Beautiful. It says, um, and he <clears throat> fell to the earth. So he's right, right, riding. Right, he's going hard. You know, like I'm going to get them for the Lord. We're talking about the Pharisee of the Pharisee. You know? Think he ain't know the law. And then and back, boom. And back then you would get your ass stoned like that. You know? Because Jake knew if they went off, we would be destroyed. Right, because then the Romans were already persecuting us. So exactly. you gotta imagine they were going that much more harder. Exactly. You know? So they always were trying to get Rome out of their land and gain dominance over Roman a Roman occupation. That's why in the rebuilding of the second temple under the time of King Cyrus, you had people that heathens wrote letters to the king, said they're rebuilding to fight against you. Yep. So we don't want them to rebuild, otherwise they'll overtake us. That's why we go into Judith, the fifth chapter, where Ammon, he's like, yo, yeah. yo, don't, hey, just throw pork over the wall, because they're going to get us, you know? He knew, he knew it was up. Yep. And it says, and he fell to the earth. So remember the men fell when they came and got you out shy? Right. So he was riding, and some just had him, boom, you know? And, and heard a voice, so he fell, bang. And he's sitting, he's laying there, he's hearing, he's hearing, like, oh, you hear that? It wasn't, it wasn't a, a, a white man's voice. Because, you know, right now, you watch something biblical, you're an Edomite deep voice. That's some bullshit, man. Or he'll be whispering. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't whispering. It wasn't no Joel Osteen in his ear. Right. right. You know? He heard a man speaking in the Hebrew tongue. You want to, we could preach up that with Acts 26. I believe it started at 14. Yep. Keep going. Yep. It says... Uh, and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Right, now, if one of you brothers, want to, I believe it's Matthew 10, or, it's, or 10 and 10, where the Lord said, if they receive you, they receive me. But if they don't receive you, then they don't receive me. And they don't receive me, they don't receive the one that sent me. Yep. Okay, so how was Paul persecuting your house shot? By persecuting his disciples. So... With Alazar and Deacon's statement, they're persecute. They're trying to persecute Yahweh Shai again. Again, you know, not us, right? Because it's never us. We're we're just we're just vessels that the Lord is using. Ultimately, you have a problem with your, with, with the Heavenly Father Himself. You know, yep. You want that next? Yeah. <clears throat> this is the Book of Acts, chapter twenty-six, and verse fourteen. Acts twenty-six and fourteen. And when we were all fallen to the earth. Right, he, he's talking to uh, Agrippa at this time, the king, which is going to say in Acts 9 how the Lord's going to use him. The Lord's going to send him to the kings, the Gentiles, to this, to that. But in this, in this prophecy is coming to pass, you know. Acts 26 and 14. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue. And the what? 
in the Hebrew tongue. The Hebrew tongue. Lashawan Kodash, not Greek, because remember Paul spoke Greek. Okay, back then, and he was, he was a Roman. He was a Roman too. You know, so back then our people were bilingual, what you call it they. Not many people can speak multiple languages today, but in the ancient world that was common. You speak Hebrew, Greek, Latin, those are the three major languages back then. You know? And it says, uh, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Right, pretty much you're going against the grain. You know? And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest. Right, so this is Yahweh Shai manifesting himself unto Paul. You know, this ain't happened to a lot of people. And this happened by the Spirit. You know, but rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for the per for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. Right. So Paul was actually commanded and sent unto the Gentiles. Man, was that? That's why I believe it's what Romans eleven and thirteen. I magnified my also yep. as an apostle to the Gentiles. Yeah, you know, so his journeys he went from Corinth, from from uh, Ephesus to the Book of Romans, because our people were everywhere, man. You know, mm -hmm. and today, you know, I, we don't we don't have to travel. It's all through the internet. So now the word is traveling. Now the letters are are right now. This is your modern day epistle, okay? Uh, uh, yeah, this is Jerusalem now. This is where you can visit Jerusalem. Where you go into the other the nations where Jake's at. This is why you got GMS Australia. Right. <laughs> you know? There, there's a brother who comments on my video. He's an Elam. You oh. know, he speaks, I believe it's uh, Bengali, the language they speak over there. You know? I got that uh, Luke for you. This is Luke 10 and 16. It says, um, Luke 10 and verse 16. It says, He that heareth you heareth me right so if they hear if they hear us if you out there you hear us which is what the scripture says the sheep hear my voice and they will follow me then guess what you hear your how shy mm -hmm. you hear the son of man you hear our lord and savior our our physician our high priest okay just by hearing us because these are not our words okay and we are not in our own spirit there's one spirit one baptism right well that's what these other uh camps have is a following of men you're not following Yahweh Shai with these other. You're following General Yohanna. You're Command. fo commanding. You're following Nate. You're following Alisa. That's what they're doing. They're not following the spirit. Because if you notice, the biggest thing these camps produce is a spectacle of them, these guys debating. Now it's Gorilla Hebrew versus college kid. Right. Gorilla right. Hebrew versus sex or uh, deacon. And deacon of Kai, you've been getting real lewd lately. He's been saying, and that's what scripture speaks about lasciviousness. Yeah. He's been saying very lewd things. Lewd As men, we shouldn't be saying. Yep. Right. And the Bible, the scriptures tell us about watch guys like that, bringing up nasty sexual shit and using it as a diss, you know? But my point is, if you notice these guys' videos, it's either, it's always them debating someone or them doing something. So you're watching him. There's nothing, there's no glorification of the Lord. You know what? You get praises because somebody super tattoo. you? That's what he says. While wearing a hat. Yeah. yeah. You know? And we used to wear hats. Some shit stink. Right? You ever take a hat off? The brim's all messed up. Sweaty. You know? You know, it fucks up your hairline. Two-tone tan. You know? Don't go to Miami like that, bro. Think you got a, a thousand fittings. Yeah. <laughs> and a bottle of Coke. And comparing it to a Mitri. You know how, disres how, how niggerish that is? While reading out the scriptures. You know what though? You know? See, I would call him a nigglet, but a nigglet is 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 a pre nigger. Because it's not if you go into Urban Dictionary, a nigglet means not a full nigger. <laughs> but they they're fully blown nigger lights, bro. Reprobates. Full, bro. You know, maybe when they were younger, they would have been nigglets, but now <laughs> full blown. Yep. You gotta stay away from that. They're uh damn. Yeah, yeah. Damn. It says Luke 10 and 16, he that heareth you heareth me. And he that despises you despises me. We know what despise means to hate, to disgust. Look at that. DM mess. Yep. That's you what know? you say, yep. They despise us, man. But it's cool, because what the, what the Lord said too, uh, 
Blessed are you when men shall revile you. Exactly. You know, call all y'all blessed me also. Woe unto you when men speak well of you. You better not be putting seven fire emojis under our video. <laughs> but when you go on these guys' chats, it's, oh, praise it. Oh, man. You know, come back to Chicago, Deke. I <laughs> know, bro. <laughs> it says, um, yep. It says, and he that despises you despises me. Right, so if you despise us, the Lord's uh, mouthpiece, you despise the Lord. Yep. You despise your house shot. Yep. Yep. It reminds me like how you have a mother hate her son because she say you're the spitting image of your daddy. Right. Right? Right. You actually see that, but wait a minute, you the one that laid with him. Right. But now you mad at me because they say spitting image. We're supposed to be the spitting image of Yahweh Shai. You're right? Don't they say be Christ-like? But now we're uh, on that journey and you hate us. So what they're showing is you would hate the Lord. Remember it says he was despised among men? Yeah. Isaiah 53 prophesies that in the Assyrian captivity. And it says, <clears throat> despiseth me and he that despises me despises him that sent me. Right, so you actually despise your hallowed. Oh, which a lot of our people do. And that's why it says in uh, Proverbs 8, those that hate me love death. You know? Yep. I got one. Go back to Acts 1. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's like it. It's uh, uh, Luke chapter 6 and uh, where is it at? Verse uh, verse 20. I'm going to start, I'm start verse 20, uh, 21. Luke 6 and verse 21 it says, Blessed are ye uh, that hunger now for ye shall be filled. I'm hungry. Hell yeah. Well, you hungry for what? The word, the truth. Righteousness. Right? Yeah, you're hungry for the Lord, the glorification of Yahweh Bashim al You're not, you know, we're content with what we got, but we're not content in this situation we're in. You know? Mm -hmm. Right here in captivity. Because right. when you understand, this is actually our world and we're prisoners on it. Yep. You know, the whole, think about that, man. The whole world is for our sake. But you're stuck in, a, in a, an apartment that you can barely afford to pay the rent every month. With a loud ass heathen below you or above you, you know, that you could flow, fold like clean clothes. And you're supposed to be uh, happy with jumping in the car that's constantly breaking down on you. That shit rattled more than a tambourine on Sunday. To a job that'll replace your ass at the at the back. Yep. You know. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it says, "Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh." We be crying. Weep with one another. You know, we sigh and, you know, we deal with it, but we're not um, satisfied with the condition we're in as a people, as a nation, you know? There's Israelites everywhere. They're not serving their God, you know? So it's a, it's a, a terrible thing to see us as a nation and where we're at. That's why Esau speaks lawfully about um, captivity because he ain't tasting it. Right. He can't tell you about a movie that he never watched, so you can't talk to the nigga and ask him, for his opinion, you can't you know, you can't ask advice from a man. You can't ask advice from a man that ain't been with a woman about how you talk to him. Well, that's like that Jordan Lucas song. I'm not racist, you know right? You don't know. You don't know about Lucy. You, don't, you yep. don't know about our struggle. You don't know man. about Kool Aid, right? You don't know what we went through, man. But he saw eating ramen noodle now. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, he eat ramen noodle now. Crackheads, yep. yeah, he do. Brothers better not be eating that though. That should have killed you, man. You get stuck in your stomach. Bro. Yeah, that should have killed you. Verse two, and it's a, a slacky. Verse twenty-two. That shit's so dangerous. The cup of noodle on the on the side of the cup says, "Do not microwave." And let's <laughs> all agree, agree and admit, we done all put a cup of noodle yep. in the microwave. How <laughs> do you make it? You gotta put hot water in it. <laughs> you know, but see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. We didn't know that. We shit. didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, verse twenty-two says, "Blessed are ye." When men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you. Elazar said, he told a woman she can't heat up a bottle of water on the Sabbath for her baby. Yep. <laughs> How did, if that, yo, if that Damn. was my woman, my woman wouldn't be watching Sakari. Right. right. What are you watching them for anyway, man? Exactly. Well, we you know what? They pushed the law. They're another group that pushed the law. We're not going to be saved by the law. Mm -hmm. We're saved by grace. It's just the gift of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That's it. Yep. You know? And it says... Blessed are ye when a man shall hate you. Why do y'all buy some outside? And when they shall separate you from their company. Good. So we, don't, we don't need to be around yeah. niggas who wearing fittings, who pushing their merch. We all just about pushing the word. Yeah. You know? That's uh -huh. what. 
It's like you that's why I, why I see every time they see us, they drive by. They don't beat the horn, nothing. Every time they see us, they ignore us. You know? I thought we was all Israel. But hey, man, well, all Israel is not Israel, man. Mm -hmm. Well, and also, uh, they call us Bumalites, but the, the law says if you find your brother in decay, you're supposed to restore him. Yep. So, well, come on, give us some of that Judah 144 money. Right, right. you got airplanes What's up? and uh, uh, <laughs> shit. Right. Hebrews and Hellcats. <laughs> shit, we just had to fix our chariot just to get to camp. Right. These brothers, too. You know? That, oh, that's like being uh, shipwrecked. Th th thank you. Pretty much. So, like, it was on my spirit. I'm like, yo, I got to get this. We got to get this done. There ain't no, hey, brother, hey, catch us on Zoom. Right. We got to get it done. Because Why? Because we have, uh, give me that, man. I believe it's 2 Corinthians 9, 16. Because yeah, necessity, necessity. necessity yeah. is laid upon us. Okay, so we have to be out here. And also, we love to be out here, man. The Wadi Al Bashimi outside. All right, this is our time to, to vent, to yell, to, to, to cuss you people out, to get stuff off our chest. Edify. To prophesy. Yep. To be amongst brothers, like-minded men. You know, this is the only place we're accepted. This is the only place we can be ourselves. See, that's the problem. Because right? it's illegal, because you had quoted, quoted it. I was holding it for you. Second Maccabees 6 and 6 says it was illegal to profess yourself to be an Israelite. Would you, would, they, had, they had to do a class action lawsuit. Domino's got sued because they was making Jake shave their beard and they was getting razor bumps. Mm -hmm. So they, they yeah. no, you can't be an Israelite. You can't have a beard. And a job. It, you know, and a job. Yeah. You got to be bald headed. No. So now this is where we can be who we are, you know? So I had that not happen to me. It was a, uh, it was a co worker years ago when I worked at Harvard. <laughs> it was so funny because, <clears throat> like, soon as you go there your first day, like, the Edomite manager gave uh, give you a razor. Damn! Oh, okay. Shit. And then the Jake was like, yo, I can't just use this razor to cut my, right. my face. He said, my skin ain't like y'all skin. He said, you know, we get razor bond. And then he gonna talk about that racist. That's not oh, racist. Wow. He just telling you the truth. Like, we can't cut our skin with razors like y'all do. We get razor bond. Yeah. That's a, that's a, uh, by, that's a byproduct of uh, the law, because we not supposed to say it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That proves the Lord don't care about Esau, because he's not... He don't get chastised, bro. right? You know, he's not in trouble as other men. Uh, first, first Corinthians nine and sixteen. For y'all brothers to go there. Damn. First Corinthians nine, and the Corinthians was wild. You they had to get two, two books. books. <laughs> <laughs> two times. <laughs> That's like when uh, the elders, uh, which they got kicked out of uh, the house of David from Nate. Y'all know that, right? Over the Cornelius Council. Which now he teaches that which he's they, an Israelite. Which they now teach. Well, they, they kicked out King Masha, who to faith we believe is King David reincarnated by faith. But look at the track record of these men that are out here standing now. Terrible, bro. That's, that's no integrity. Man. Nah. To not even say Salakia, you yep. know, wrong. Yep. Because you know? you, Yahweh Shai said if you offend a brother, you got to go talk to him before you start praying. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you got to leave your gift at the altar. And handle the situation, you know. So for brothers out there, if you got any situation with a brother, just squash it. Especially at the time now, we coming up on the Passover. Yep. Yeah. You know, you can't. You don't want to eat the Passover unworthily like that. No. 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 Brothers, there. Yeah. First Corinthians nine and sixteen. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. You don't have nothing to glory of, man. We don't, we don't need a, a rap video. We're out here calling ourselves chief high priest. Nope. Commanding general this or that. Yep. You know, you don't even need to know our names. You just need to know the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You know, we're part of the hopeful elect. The Lord will kill us. And we have order for, for we have rank for order sick. Yep. Okay, to, to remain, to keep order in the church. Yep. Okay. That's what the whole uh, first uh, couple chapters of uh, Titus was. He sent him to the island of Crete where the island was creek was filled with nothing but slow bellies. Y'all know who slow bellies are? Is is wicked Israelites that are more bellied than body. You know, greedy. eaters. Yeah, greedy. Greedy. Yep. Greedy dogs. You know? And that was island of Crete was uh it was uh in between like Rome. It was it's in the the, the sea. Yeah, a little island yeah. off from uh, Mars Hill, not Mars Hill, uh damn uh Cyprus yeah, yeah, yeah. in that region. Yeah. And it says uh, I preach the gospel I have nothing to glory of 
for necessity is laid upon me. When we found out this word, man, when we uh, it was like it was like Neil following the white rabbit, mm -hmm. you know, because when we found out we were Israelites, you know, I found out online. Of course, I was watching uh, every other camp out there, you know, uh, Zabak, HOI, We Got Next, uh, IUIC, ISUPK. But then the spirit leads you to uh, Great Millstone. You know what happened to all of us? Eventually, the spirit led you here, you know? And that necessity got laid upon you, man. Getting that word? Yeah. What? Uh, so when you go into this word necessity, it goes into necessity imposed either by circumstances. Yeah, the circumstances. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know, the truth. You got yeah. the truth. And then you learn what, what's happening. Like this brother, when we told him about the, the nukes. <laughs> like, oh, shit. You know? <laughs> you know? Yeah, fear. It says, either by circumstances or by law of duty. And that's our duty. This is our call of duty. Oh, Maple custom service. You know, this is our custom, man. This is our sacrifice. I gotta, you know, you know we are that. You, we are that sacrifice now. We don't have to go and get, you know, a land without blemish because we have one. It's your house shot. You know. I got a quick one. You got more than the bar. I'm finishing after you. Okay. This is uh, Romans 12 and verse one. Oh, there you go. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. But is this authority though? Right. It's right. This, this is authority. <laughs> but but then there's a video of uh, all the times Alizar used the writings of Paul yeah. for correcting women yep. or debating a heathen. But then you also state, you know, that you don't view that as authority. So I got the definition of authority. This is the online etymology dictionary. So it's a great study tool. It says permission, influence. Permission. We've been given permission to stand out here. That's why you don't want to go up another way. And uh, uh, um, Myra, get Mark 13 and 34. 13 and 34. Check this out. And then Malak, get Matthews 10 and 1. Uh, back in uh, Romans chapter 10, excuse me, uh, chapter 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High Yahweh. If that you don't find, I'm sorry, brother. If you don't find yourself, who do you listen to? Right. What you know? Are you, what are you reading? You well, know, who's your counsel? That's what I would like to know. What the hell are they reading? All right. <laughs> They're reading you know? the slave Bible. Remember, that's what Esau did? Yeah. He took yeah. a lot of pieces out. Yeah. Uh, servants, obey your master. Right. They're reading yeah. that, that plantation Christianity shit, man. Yep. You know? So that shit is stagnant. Yeah, yeah. Read that real quick. The book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 34. It'll actually, start at 32. 32, verse 32. But of that day, and the day, I would know no man. One more time, brother. Right. But of that day, and that hour, knoweth no man. Yeah. No, not the angels, which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye. Right, so... So we don't know the time, hour, day. So wouldn't it be wise for us to take every day as an, like take advantage of every day we're here and to gobble up what has been given instead of doting about with questions? Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. If there's like, hey, brother, can you explain to me, you know, are, uh, are the Assyrians from Assyria? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you got little things. But, you know, but for the most part, we are understanding what we're involved in. But when you start questioning things like that, you're, you're, what you're doing is you're perverting the gospel. And that's what was told in, uh, uh, is that Galatians? Yeah, to the Galatians or the Ephesians. Don't be bewitched. No, 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 remember, no, it's Ephesians. Remember he said there are some that pervert the gospel? Yeah, yeah. The word pervert means to turn away. So if you're heading towards the door of prophecy and someone goes, hey, look this way. This book ain't authority. Now you over here looking and now you ain't f focused on prophecy. Mm -hmm. That's what they're trying to do. Keep going. And take, and take ye heed, watch and pray, yep. for ye know not when the time is. Yeah, so imagine you resisting the Holy Spirit all the way until your Howard Shai come. Mm -mm. I don't even want to be in the same, I don't even want to be on your channel right. when that happens. Keep going. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey. So the far journey was what? Him letting you know after, after I die and I rise again. I'm going to sit on the right hand of the Father, and I'm going to be the one in Revelations 5 that opens up the seals because I'm worthy. Then I'm going to send, 
the Holy Spirit unto you through a company of angels. What I told you is the comforter which shall come in my name and shall teach you all things while I'm, while I'm in this far journey. So you got all this information while I'm gone, but I put you on. Just like if I, you were on a job site, your foreman left, here's the impact drill, here's your the concrete, the blueprint. the blueprint, the mortar, the measurements, just build it, I'll be back. Right, keep going. For a far journey, who left this house and gave authority to his servant. Read that again for the Jakes in the back. What'd he say? The son of man is as a man taking a far journey. Yeah. Who left his house. He left his house. Right, he left the earth. He left He left his house. Didn't it say your house side is the head of the church? Right, yeah, yeah. Keep going. When your parent, y'all brothers, did your mother or father ever leave you in charge of the house? Oh, you was in charge. Yep. You had a you better, <laughs> hey, mama, get your ass. You was old. Right? You was rebuking everybody. <laughs> you was telling. He was making sure shit was straight. He was jumping on the couch. You know? I ate at the table. He was swearing. Remember that shit? Everybody's got trouble for swearing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We're, that's how we are. Yeah. Look, Lord, he's swearing. He jumping on the couch. He brought these people in. He's saying we have authority. Yeah. He's switching up the song. Yep. You know? Yep. Keep going. And gave authority to his servants and to every man his work. That's he, a cut. He gave his servant's authority. Now, hold that, Ira, please. Or in the Hebrew, Babu Kusha, read Malak, Matthews 10 and verse 1. There we go. Dies e uno for the Northern Brothers. Right. Come on, man. I'm speaking in tongues for you. Right. Matthews 10 and verse 1. Yes. Says, and when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean. He gave them what, Malak? When you look in the blue letter, the blue letter Bible, the interlinear, when you look in the Greek for the word power, it's the same exact word for authority in Mark 13. So we've been given power and authority. So what, now we can't be out here? If, you, if you're saying Apostle Paul writings are not authoritative, then what does that mean for us? What does that mean? Do we not have the authority? You can finish it. But, but he has authority, though. But he has. I'm a priest. You can't. You can't. You can't debate me. Continues to say to cast them out. Yep. And to heal all manner of sickness. Yep. All manner of disease. Boom. So that's power and that's authority. Do you have something else? Yeah. No. This was something I was going to let you back on what you said. It's yeah. Also, uh, it's a uh, five and seven. It says, "Make no terror." To the Lord Yahweh, why Yahweh shy and put not off from day to day. Exactly. But it's saying in the world, it says, why well, put off tomorrow what you can, uh, it says, yep. why uh, put it. off tomorrow what you can do today. You know, it's a good one. They said it's either, uh, he said it's either two things. It's either, uh, it starts today or day one. Or what is it, uh, someday or day one. Yeah. Like if there's something you got to do. It's either, well, we could do that someday or t today could be day one of starting it. Yeah. And remember, the first step is the biggest step. But after the, the biggest step, it's all downhill. It's easy. You know? So from the top again, please. Verse 34. For the son of man is as a man taking a far journey. Yep. Who left his house and gave authority. So what's his house? His church. You know? Yep. And in his church, what do you have? Apostles. Yep. Evangelists. Yep. Some prophets. Yep. Teachers. Elders, ministers, deacons. I got you. This is Ephesians 4 and um, verse 10. Let's go into Ephesians 4 and we're going to start at 8. We're going to take a trip to Ephesus. Let's go back. <laughs> Way back. Right. <laughs> Which Ephesus is in modern day Turkey. Right. Asia Minor. Yep. You know. And so is um, Galatia. Yep. Galatia and Ephesus is in the same region as Turkey, which you know is Turkey today. Well, that's a hotbed going on in war right now, you know? So call off for that. Lee, what, Togamar? Togamar, yep, the prince. Are you brothers there? Yeah. So now we're in uh, Ephesus talking to the Israelites known as the Ephesians, right? We're in Rochester, right. so we're called the Rochesterians. Right. See? Yep. So this is our epistle to, uh, you know. Yep. And when you have a word that says Christian 
Rochesterian, it means it's a people of that land. That's all that means, you know, a New Yorker, you know. Uh, Ephesians 4 and 8. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, remember that far journey, yep. he led captivity captive. Right, which was what? The, the death. Under being under that law. Because under that law, we were made captive because we couldn't keep it perfectly. You see? And it says, and gave gifts unto men. Because if you have to understand, if, if, you, if you sin, you become a servant unto sin. This is what the Most High wants us to understand. This is why he made us slaves. Because you're already a slave, but mm. you don't realize it. Man, you know? Right. It says, now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? Y'all know what that means? Can we read it again? Yeah. It says, now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? Remember it says, he would, uh, he get, he said, a sign you're not going to receive, but what was under Jonah? Three days. Three days. Remember Jonah said, I'm in, I'm in hell. Yeah. yeah the, grave. the grave. That's all it is. It's right. He's not talking about, um, Hades. Well, guess what? Do you know, you brothers know that Amalek and the Talmud says that who they believe Jesus is burning in hell right now? In the Talmud? How rude. It says, uh, he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens. Right, Yahweh Shai, the, the, only, the only begotten of the dead. You know? Mm -hmm. And it reads um, that he might fill all things and he, okay, not we, he. This is why, brothers, you notice we don't put titles on ourselves. Titles are given. Going like, back to what Paul said, you have nothing to glory of or nothing to boast exactly. about. Exactly. Nothing to be arrogant or pride because it's all vanity. Exactly. Okay? Because trust me, if you're given a position in this thing and the Lord's dealing with you, the battle increases. More demons. It's like when Neo fought all them agents, yep. they're coming from everywhere. you like, damn. Yep. And it keeps you humble. Yep. That's why Paul said, Satan came to buffet me. Because yep. by revelation, it kept me humble. And they also stated, it's not true uh, as far as biblically, but some have came to the understanding that Paul, thorn in his side, could have been kidney stones. That's a biblical judgment. If you deal with kidney stones, bro, that shit is death. That's, that's the closest thing as a man that you could feel death. And that keeps you humble, you know, because it's equated to his birth, a uh, woman giving birth. Right, right under that, number mm -hmm. two. Like I said, it ain't in the scriptures, so don't say I said it. But I was reading into it, and they said they came to the conclusion that a thorn inside could have possibly been kidney stones. And I don't know if y'all ever had that. That shit is not for play play. That'll break you. See, what people don't understand is fire cures everything. You got to lock a bolt that you need to unlock, put some fire on it. That shit will unseize quick. You got a, a stubborn-ass child, put some fire on their ass. I bet they'll straighten up. And we're being made perfect through the fire. Yep. You know? Yep. Through the fiery trial. Yep. You know, we're we going to come out as that uh, pure gold. Yep. Out around right this up. Yep. The two thirds going to get burned. That's what they're going to be right. Got their mind right when they get in the kingdom. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. exactly. Yep. Yep. Well, as y'all was shot, uh, John the Baptist said he, he's come to uh, baptize with water and fire. Yeah. Yep. It was that fire, that furnace. That, yeah. But he, he can keep you in that furnace. Because remember, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was in the furnace, but they said it was a whistling, moist wind around them. You know? It says, and he... And yeah. Also, they had neither the smell of, of smoke on them, nope. nor the uh, the feeling of that heat. Nope. You know? Nope. Yep. Yeah, you ever barbecue? You know, Jake liked to dress up for the barbecue, but if you cooking, you threw the cologne gone, yeah. the white tea smelling smoky. You're in the house on the couch and you, you're still smelling the, the charcoal. Yeah. So they didn't come in like that, you know? Like Remember? Yeah. Light the fire and yep. be a poof. Yep. Like, oh, you want fire? fire? You want to eat, <laughs> right? And uh, the 40 years in the wilderness, Deuteronomy 8 speaks about how the Lord said, your, your clothes didn't rent. Right. The air in. forces didn't increase. Right. You right. know, as soon as you buy them, you step right out. You know what I mean? But in the, in the wilderness, I'm being funny, but in the wilderness, the Lord said, I preserved everything. Nothing deteriorated off you. So this is the power we're serving, you know? 
And this is that was in the midst of Jake getting the law. Jake, we got delivered without living by the law. The first uh, uh, law of the uh, high holy days we was given wasn't the Sabbath, was the Passover. Which the Passover is a Sabbath, but my point is it was a Passover first. Celebration. Right. You know? Of death. Right. Of an empire being taken out so another empire can be built. And in doing so, that magnified the Lord's name. Come on now. You know? What well, uh, Rahab said? She said, we have heard of our uh, power delivered y'all. She said the men are melted. Trembling. You know? Ephesians 4 and 11. And he, Yahweh Shai, gave some apostles. Some apostles, which apostles are the top, you know? They're, they're the top right now. All right? Because the apostle means to be sent. So they were sent by Yahweh Shai to teach about Yahweh Shai. To bring others unto repentance, man. It says... And some prophets. Prophets saying before it happens. You know? Yeah. Which you can be apostle and a prophet. Hey, King David was a king and a uh, prophet, great yeah. warrior, prophet, yeah. Yeah. psalmist, yeah. Yeah. savior. Well, nope. Deacon said, those are just psalms. That's just poetry. But but uh precept means commandment. And then you how I'm stealing this from Elder Yashuamba, right? In the spirit. But when uh uh, Yahweh Shai said, isn't it written in your law that ye are gods? Right. Where was it written in our law? In the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it ain't just poetry. No, there, there's prophecies in yeah. Psalms. Damn it. It's prophesied about Yahweh Shai. He said, oh, dogs come past me, me about uh, 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 who betrayed him. He that dips, you know. He that eateth with me. He, he that eateth he with said, me. Uh, not, his bones should not be broken. Yep. You know, it prophesied how you, how you would die. King David prophesies about Babylon and Edom. King David Prophesied Yahweh, uh, King David prophesied Esau saying, raise it, raise it. Uh, Psalms 83, the, the crafty council. Yep. You know? Yep. Yep. It says, uh, it says Ephesians 4 and 11, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors uh -huh. and teachers. Why? For the perfecting of the saints. For the perfecting of the saints. And who are the saints? The Israelites. Okay? This whole thing is about the children of Israel, man. Okay? Every everything. It's not about any other nation. The Lord, Matthew 121, he shall save his people from their sins. Mm -hmm. Okay? What is sin? Transgression of the law. Who did the Lord give the laws to? Unto the children of Israel on Mount Sinai. Okay? And this was all 12 tribes. Right? So the other nations... You have sinned by picking up this book and taking on our customs and nationalities. So now you must be judged by it. Exactly. That's why we can use the sinful kingdom in Amos 9 to refer to this kingdom that is sinful. But Deacon Akash said that uh, well, we, uh, we, we, use it. we use it for Esau, but in context it's for uh, Israel and their being wicked in their kingdom. We, we know said that. that. We said it, man. We, we know that. You know, those, those are just petty arguments. Yes. Right. No? That's that's uh that's girlfriend talk who's just angry because she wasn't raised right. Yep. Like you got other issues that you're mad about and it ain't me. You know they got their saying it ain't you it's me. That's them. They're still mad because they got kicked out of Great Millstone. Y'all know that right? They Elazar, Deacon and Kai, they got kicked out of uh GMS. Good for being worldly. They're heathens. What they say? Let them be unto you as a heathen and a publican. He act like he couldn't get rid of his hair. You can't. You can't cut your hair for the kingdom. Damn! Don't you know there's men out there that are eunuchs for the kingdom? They don't even deal with women. I cut mine, you know. I yep. 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 I remember, brother. Remember when you came up. Uh, and it says a little more. Then I still got a couple more. It says, for the per Ephesians four and twelve, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry. <laughs> For the edifying of the body of a Mashiach. For the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai. That's why we have members, all right? Going back to, I believe that's Corinthians 12. There's different members up in this thing. Yep. But it's all of the same body. Yeah. You know? It says, till we all come in the unity of the faith. That's what it's about, unity of the faith. All right? And uh, also what Paul was saying, that you all preach the same things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It says, and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High, unto a perfect man, mm. unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of a Mashiach. So that's what it's about, the knowledge of Yahweh Shai of becoming a perfect man. You know, 
The our whole reason for being in this troop is to become pretty much many Yahweh shots. But wait, That's there's right. more. Yeah. That we henceforth be no more children. Right. Tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind of doctrine. So you, so you like a you like a, a boat in, in the, on the, the ocean, ocean yeah. with the waves going crazy. You just tossed over here. Yeah. Paul's writing and not authoritative. Yep. Uh, we can call on, and he, they blatantly call on Jesus Christ. Yeah, blatantly. You know? Yeah. He said, Lord in Christ. It says, uh, and carried about with every wind of doctrine. So you just, you just carried about, and you know what it is? You a hoe in the spirit. You're not, um, you're not fortified up here, man. You know, you, your castle is open. The demons just getting in, tossing your ass around, you know? You know who Elazar's, um, elder is? Uh, what's that skinny little light-skinned Jake? Uh, damn, what's his name? Uh, fuck, I can't remember his name. He always wears the, the, the Muslim beanies. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, pro, pro, divine, divine prospect. prospect. Thank you, brother. For water, divine prospect is uh, Alazar's elder. Oh, wow. yeah, well, in the spirit, I'm saying he, he, he learns from him and then brings it back over here. Oh, yeah, that dude is trash. Yeah, that dude, thank you, bro. He's trash. <laughs> Call him Thursday, he's trash. <laughs> It says, uh, it says, um, carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men. That's what the, the slight of men will get you. Those guys will get you. And it says, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. That's what they do. They lie. Among my people are found uh, a wicked men. You know, it says as a, as a cage of birds, they catch men, you know? All right, let me get this in uh, first, back in First Corinthians nine and sixteen, and then uh, Rise gonna read it. Okay, gonna read I got it. this in uh, the uh, Bible up too. Okay, for translations. Okay, First Corinthians nine and sixteen. <clears throat> Your brother's back there. Damn, this is a crazy world. You got a man sitting on a woman's lap. This shit is crazy. Don't even look, brother. Don't, don't, Ira. Hey, take a card. What, 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 uh, like four. four. Yeah. Yeah, right, right around here. You just start back up there. Come on, bro. Anyways, uh, uh, we need some brothers from Chicago to come out here, man. Bring that manly spirit. <laughs> you know? Start clotheslining. Right, this shit is crazy. Damn. Damn. First Corinthians, it's all good, though. It's a lot of uh, Captain Zesty's out Yeah, it's here. effeminate. Remember, no effeminate shall enter the kingdom. Yeah. You know? Uh, First Corinthians 9 and 16, for though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. Right there. You can say boast. Okay. Replace that word glory with boast. Yep. Nothing to boast of. Now, when you go into boast, it means to be arrogant, to be prideful, uh, straight up vanity, to blow up. What does it say? A knowledge puffed up. Exalted. You know? Yeah. He that exalts himself shall be a base. Oh, it says wicked, evil, mm. angry. Well, uh, go also goes into rebellion. Yeah. With them rejecting the Holy Spirit by resisting it. What they're doing is what Saul did, and rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Mm. So those are witches. Yes. So you follow, and uh, let me say this, Sakari, they got a uh, triangle power as their emblem. Wow. Y'all know those triangles, that yeah. so-called Star David, that's literally called triangle power. That's why yeah. Amalek uses it. Geometry, that, that's, that's witchcraft right there. Mm -hmm. So you joining them, you're, you're, you're a witch with a <clears throat> uh, sacrificial knife on your hip. Yep. It makes sense why they wear the, um, they got the daggers, and the vest because the Lord coming. So they, they, they trying to get their own little armor on. The judgment's coming. It says, um, for necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Right, so woe unto us if we, if we aren't out here. If we aren't doing our weekly lessons, man. And woe means destruction, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, back. Please. Go ahead. This one was 8 and 17, and the children then. Start at 16. 16. Because that's going to go into the brother saying, not all Israel's Israel. Well, we are joint heirs, though. Mm -hmm. We're actually heirs. It goes into that in Galatians. Right? Yep. Understanding that we're heirs. And predestinated. And predestinated before the foundation of the world. You know, so it's, it's very beautiful to be in this truth, man, and all, and to be able to see and understand the seducing spirits, the demons that are only other camps to discern. You can see it in their eyes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's 
see it on that fittings. Well, <laughs> I read this while the bro get that. All right. Uh, this is the uh, the book of Acts nine and verse four, and it says, and he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Yahweh Shai. Right, so this is Yahweh Shai speaking unto Paul in the Hebrew tongue. All right, well, you can precept that with Acts 26. We just read it earlier. Who uh, says, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the bricks. And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what would thou have me to do? Right, because he's like, oh, shit. Like, this, this, this is the truth. This is it. No, I've been killing these men. I've been persecuting them. But they were right. So imagine the fear that fell upon them. You know? You got it, Malak? Yeah. This is the book of Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself bears witness in our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, mm. Yahweh. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, Yahweh, and joint heirs with the Most High, Yahweh. Ooh, joint heirs mm -hmm. joint heirs with Yahweh Shai man that's heavy to hear yeah because what Yahweh Shai has done you know that that's you know we can't even put ourselves in that so for him to say we're gonna do the work he's done in greater that's a very <coughs> humbling statement for that man to make and then they say that uh uh they I believe they said Yahweh Shai is like an idol and that you can't worship Yahweh yeah that's, that's another seducing yep. spirit read that again that proves that that right. That's another precept to prove that we are to worship Yahweh Shai. Yep. You know. Uh, yes, please. Romans uh, eight and sixteen. The Spirit is so bear witness. <laughs> Music cut off. That we are the children. <laughs> that nigga in the old side. Side. If the children then heirs. Then heirs. We're heirs. You know. Now I did a lesson through the Holy Spirit years ago about a uh, uh, this uh, woman who died in a homeless shelter and didn't know she had $846,000 as an heir in her bank account. Damn. She died homeless, broken, afraid, and had no idea. And that's what Jay, they got no idea what's coming for them. You know, that I, uh, it is not entered into man's mind mm -hmm. what I have prepared for you. So like, we, we understand that there is something extremely great coming for us, you know? They call it, calls it the commonwealth. They're waiting for reparations. Crumbs. 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 If they send it, I'm going to take it. But right. I ain't saying that I'm happy about it. I ain't about to march for it. Yeah. yeah. You know? Jake going to be out here buying babies and shit. Jake going to have a Newport truck. Yep. You know, it shows you that on Dave Chappelle. Yep. You know? Uh, gonna it's going to crash the economy. You know, all that's going to do is... And then that will be another reason to blame Jake. You know? All it's going to do is allow... Uh, blue collar Edomites to point the finger at Jake. And uh, continuing, it says, heirs of the Most High, <coughs> joint heirs with the Mashiach. So, so predestinated, we didn't we didn't do anything because it's not of works, but of him that call it. But from out here showing our works, we show our faith. We will become a joint heir with the Lord to inherit all things. That's so unto to worship, you know. I believe it also says on uh, every knee shall bow, that's worship. Yep. That's a form of worship, you know? And uh, if so be that we suffer, like I said, many of y'all have shots, we got to suffer. Yep, because uh, Christ I was holding Romans 12. Yep. Did you finish that? No, I got to get okay. that. Okay. Yep. So, so see, so read Romans 12 after Malak, then jump back to Acts. Because it also says, he that suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Oh, I bet you will. So that suffering is necessary. I bet you get a thorn in your side, you ain't going out looking for sh Shikisha. <laughs> I'm going to have to cancel. I'm canceling tonight. Man, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. You know? So suffering's good. Yes, it's good. It's good, man. As, as a man, I'm sorry, as a man, suffering is necessary to build up your mental toughness, man. Wow. Yeah. And, and physical. Work out. That yeah. shit hurt. Yeah. 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 I got hurt. a, uh, I had a, I had a quote that I said, uh, let me see if I could grab it. It's called, um, uh, right here. It's called greater suffering leads to greater growth. There you go. No. And there's another one on the other side of suffering is greatness. Yeah. Who's the perfect example of that? Yeah, I was shy. And he suffered on the cross for how many hours? Woo. You know? Real quick to uh to uh, back up what you're saying. 
This is uh, the book of Sirach, also called Ecclesiasticus chapter 1 and verse 21. It says, The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemiel Shai, driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. You know, so you need that. You need that fear, but you got to suffer to build that fear up. You know? Yeah. And there's people around you that'll be used to try to make you sin. They'll literally. Come on, let's just pretend. And that's called uh, temptation. That's temptation. Yeah. You see that work all the time. Work yeah. husband. Yeah. You know, work wife. Yeah. That's adultery. Yeah. You know? But you're suffering because you're starving the flesh out. That's the flesh. Mm -hmm. Spirit want to do good, but it's the flesh. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a never-ending war. As long as we're here in this uh, sinful flesh, there will, there's a never-ending war between your spirit and your flesh. You know? Finishing it off, it says, uh, with... Uh, if so be that we suffer with him that we may be also glorified together beautiful yeah. so we're waiting for the glorification so that means glory ain't coming now No. nor should we be uh, looking for it if, if Sonetta called me and said I got an award for you for breath precept click I might I'm put a curse on you nigga you call me again he wouldn't get the whole sentence yeah. out he said, I said, yep. this is sock click. I'm going to yeah. save him under scam likely. Right. You know? But Alizar, you know, he was there. He got that award. Yep, with know? the triangle power on it. Yep. That go against that scripture. Why does thou call it me good? Exactly. Exactly. That's a great precept. Now, this is uh, back in the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 1. Yep, going into the suffering. I beseech, excuse me, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren. Beseech means to beg. So this is uh, Paul pleading with the, with the Israelites in Rome, okay? By the mercies of the Most High, <clears throat> that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Like now, right now. This right. is us presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. Right, because they also call us what? Snow dumps. Yeah. Now, it's not snowing right now. But it's cold. But even if it was, we'd be out here and we're cold. Your hands get cold. Your yeah. toes get cold. We used to have a time where the phone would freeze. Yeah. Or it would get, it would be too hot and it would overheat. Yeah. So, like, now we got a little, uh, we made ourselves a little covering. Because remember, for years, we were trying to, they don't make, uh, they don't make a winter phone case nope. to record in the winter. So a lot of things that we've needed and asked for, they don't even make, because people don't live like that. Yeah. Right, because they're not built like that. They're us, not right? built like that. You know. So we had to make our own, and now through the Spirit, the Lord allow everything to go up. Mm -hmm. You know. So like, comment, subscribe. Right, and really, it's the Spirit. You know, <laughs> you call Lord, you have Hashem Yahweh Shai, because the Lord be having us out here, and 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 us being out here is it, boost the spirit of the sheep. Yeah. There's there's brothers, few sisters right now watching, man. Yeah. Putting up precepts, yeah, being edified, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. And it says that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High. And the best way to do that is for you being out here, because there, there, there's a lot of Israelites out here too. You know, they they might still be in a Gentile up here, but they know. A lot of our people know. You know, a whole bunch. And we had stragglers come by and say, "Yo, I was on my way to commit murder." Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go kill my own brother. brother. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. yep. I remember yep. that. He started yeah. crying. Yeah. Yep. Down there and say we was on St. Paul in yep. division. Yep. I, I, I remember his energy, how he came up. And I, I said, hey, man, do you come in peace? Yep. Yep. You know? Or other spirits, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. But the spirits are active. See? Might must be 3 p.m. Yeah, right. <laughs> so it's that one sheet. It is at 325. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to get that. You got 99. You got 100 sheep. You lose one. You gotta get it. Worth going to get the one? Yes, you gotta get it. Now one represents the elect. Yep. Small remnant. Yes. Because think about if one of Noah's sons didn't make it. You know that you know how many people wouldn't be here? Well yeah. as a man, yeah. what do you carry? You carry life. Yeah. So you think about it, you yourself, you can bring back the whole nation. Yeah. The Lord is gonna use Moses to do that. Yeah. You see? Which was which was symbolic for what? The priesthood. I'm going to have them come back to you so they all will be priests under me. Because they clearly weren't doing it. You right. Know? Right. And it says, which is your reasonable service. It's a reasonable, it's a light affliction. Oh, for, for this is the whole duty? Yeah, it's the whole of a duty man. of a man. It's really a light affliction. But we, we come out here for a couple hours, preach, go home, read, study, uh, take care of yourself. Man, 
Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's simple. Serve me, serve me how about Shimmy Al Shah, the yoke is light. The burden is easy. Yep. That's you know, said. it's your duty. You say, Ira? Uh, how am I gonna say that? I used to be with the Yeah, that's terrible, bro. See, they're oppressive. Yeah. Yeah. They put a burden on you. They're oppressive, man. It's heritage over but, here. But man. you kept you kept the faith though. Because you got a lot of guys that leave like IUIC and they're nowhere to be found. They're not doing nothing, they ain't doing their own thing. So the fact that the Lord, the Lord dealing with you. The Lord delivered you. Yeah, he oh, delivered you. Yeah, and you can't that started it, did that. Yep. You got, he in the Christian church now. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Damn. Well, because they're not bringing fruit meat for repentance. Damn. It's just any Jake out here that just allowing you to come in. There's no vetting system. You know? Well, they, they just slap fringes on you and you're good. Mm-hmm. You listen to, you know, tank concerts, tank concerts and stuff now. Damn. Let me get you. I got one for you. He just said, right? He said, nah, I was. Damn. This is Matthews 23 and 4. It says, for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders. Yeah, they, right? Was that oppression? You know? Mm-hmm. They used the, what did they use to do that? The law. But right? they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Hypocrites. They not helping. See? They not helping, but you gotta do that. Straighten that up. Get that one right there. Stand right there. Hold this right here. Where you going? You know where your money at? Yeah, shaking you down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, put you on flyer duty. Damn. Damn. But that's how we met. Ira was flyer duty. Yeah, yeah. Remember? <laughs> we was driving. We was driving out Norway. Yeah, yeah. I was in the back seat, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Ira was passing him out, and I I had used wisdom, right? Uh-huh. And I said, "Oh, okay, we gotta live by the laws." So what do you do if uh, uh if you if you sin? Do you repent? And he was like, yeah. I was like, but ain't there like a name? And he said, what you mean, Yahweh <laughs> Shai? And we drove off. <laughs> he threw the flyer. <laughs> but look, years later, but look how the spirit works. Years later, we're in the book of Acts. Yeah, yeah. You know what a beautiful testimony, man. He's saying they got that flyer, though. Yeah. <laughs> I used to run into them, or they ran into me either way it went. And then demon, he tried to make it seem as if because we kept running into each other that that meant that I was supposed. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had more than that. That was it, bro. Okay. Back in Acts, uh, not Acts, excuse me. Back in Romans 12 and verse 2. Romans 12 and 2. <clears throat> and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Yeah, what's that mean, be not conformed? That you don't you don't worldly this truth in a worldly fashion. Mm-hmm. Okay? We're not uh going to wrestling matches promoting albums right we're not giving you mixtapes hey brothers the, the, it's an arc hey hymns poems singing that's all our culture but that's that's not going to edify you seeing us do that but you got guys that are trying to bring the world into some that's holy which that makes it now not holy this is a little leaven it's leaven it's leaven and a little leaven leaven the whole Look. And the world is a big demon that us as Israelites all fight against. Right. You know? That, that worldly spirit. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Hebrew and the Hellcat. Yep. Four more. They should trim their way to see love. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it says, But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable. Being holy. See, right now we're, we're holy. We're not, we, you know, this is a church. People like to come up and they ask, where's your building? This is it. These brother being that brick, you know, of the new temple that's coming. Mm-hmm. All right. And I got something for you for that point you just said. Because we're in, we're in the spirit of being holy, being separate. You know, we don't, we don't need to have a unity camp or sit down and, and debate with you. We, we have it. The Lord gave us the authority, man. What, unity and confusion? Not confusion. It's just going to be an argument. It's gonna be a, a back, a petty back and forth. Yeah. They're not gonna let you speak, and that, and that can result to what? To fight it. Yeah. Real quick, this is Mark four and verse one to the point of you saying about being out here. Yeah. Check this out. 
uh, Mark 4 and 1 uh, says, and he began again to teach by the seaside. So he didn't teach, and he wasn't in the, uh, like these warm buildings and the right. insulation right. and the electricity. No, he did go in the synagogue, but for the most part, where was he at? He was on the streets, on the streets. Yep. Like Jake would like to say. Yeah. But that's where it's at. Yeah. It says, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude. Right, so, so, um, which I can see that coming too. The Lord's going to send a lot of believers out here. Watch, one one day it's going to be a lot of people out here, man, ready to get this word, you know? Because things are going to be happening. Yep. And it says, so that he entered into a ship. Well, that's an act. So uh, they were added about 5,000 souls, 3,000 souls, yep. you know? And sat in the sea, and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land, and he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine. What, did he charge them? No. Did he give them any merch? No. Was he wearing a fitted? No. <laughs> no. Super chats? No. <laughs> Check this out in the uh, blue letter commentary. It says, when Yahweh Shai taught from a boat, surely it was a new thing. We can imagine some critics saying, you can't do that. Teaching belongs in the synagogue mm. Or in some other appropriate place. But that's carnal. But the Lord said, uh, uh, Well, it's not. You know, dwell in temples made with hands. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it says, It would be easy to come up with objections. The damp air might make people sick. Oh, it's too cold, brother. I'll come back in the spring. Right, right. See? So, well, us being out here, this is for the true believers. No dummies. You know, we're not being over righteous. But this is where the Lord, the Lord set it up for us to be out here. It's not even that bad out here today. You know, sometimes some we, some camps would be colder than others. Mm -hmm. check, nope. check this out. The damp air might make people sick. Cough, cough. Or there are a lot of mosquitoes down at the shore. Or someone might drown. But Yahweh Shai knew that teaching from a <coughs> boat suited his purpose well enough. But it's uh but basically when you go into it, they're saying like he was uh he taught the way he did because if if uh only sincere would have stayed around. Yep. So like now if you sincere you're gonna keep coming and keep but it but it's easy. Yo, if you knew hey bro, all we gotta do is show up, they go in that room, they're gonna have some juice. Right, they got food. <laughs> they there. got food. They got Cookies. woman up in there. Hey, hey, you in my seat. We'll get you right. a get you a marriage, we'll yep. get you a wedding. You know how I many people will be at the, that church? IUIC. Yeah. You could bring your babies. You get a certificate. Yeah. You could do a spelling bee. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You get comfortable chairs. Yeah. But is it the truth, though? Yeah. Is it going to deliver you? You know what it is? Sweet things. You go. Thank you. Smooth yeah. things. There you go. This real nice. This real leather, brother. That's smooth as hell. Smooth operator. And every, every man gets a certificate. And a Which I think when you, yeah. What, what's that's a Hollywood deal? You get the square face brown, uh, the, yeah. You get the light skin square face woman. <laughs> the package, you know, the package <laughs> deal. But it, but it came with a couple toys, right? But it, it, it happened. But um, when you were there, you they didn't have their certificates then, right? Yeah, I think they did. See, but and there was a king that was doing that where he was yep. a wicked king yep. and he was making covenants with the people, yeah. but it wasn't through the Lord. So when you make a certificate, you're making a covenant with them. Now you, you Judah Israel, you, you, you Manasseh Israel, you, you Christ Israel. Yeah, no, bro. This is this is all categorizing us. You know, it don't work like that. You know, but we're at the end, so everything's being exposed. And it, and the true brothers and sisters are gonna thank the Lord that they're on this side and not that side. Just be careful not to go up another way. Yep, because that's what they're going. Yep. And everyone who's following them, they're liking unto the blind, following the blind into a ditch. Yep. You know? Remember when they... I just stumbled on the Instagram last week, and they, they, they not ready. No. No, they're not ready. They got little, you know, they got our, our, our sisters. They got these, you know, young, pretty women. Yeah. Get, hey, get, spell it with that. Like, yeah, what yeah, you, that's, that's, that's yeah, what I Yeah, like, yo, girl, like, get away from me. I was like, you know, I'm a, I'm a grown-ass man. You know, you, you can't be having these young women around these men like that. You know, there's a lot of things that be happening in, in these schools, too, you know, and you shouldn't be having these girls with the men. That shit should be separated, but they're not going back. They're not ready. 
And really what these schools are doing is making them soft. Hey, being out here, it makes us tough. It makes you a man. It makes you a man. You know, it's called camp. You know, a place where an army lodges temporarily. And guess what? When they, there's a book that Elder Malcolm was reading on his lesson pertaining to the witchcraft of Sakari. And they even stated that back in the days of Sakari that the, the Israelites had camps. So just like how we have camps now, they had camps back then. Pharisees, Sadducees, yep, scribe, yep. different sects, if you will. Yep. Proselyte. Yep. You know, yep. new new beginning in believers. You Greek. Yep. yep. Uh, real quick, uh, back in Acts. Yeah, let's go back in Acts. All right. Uh, back in Acts nine and verse uh, where is it at? Verse six. It says, and he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what would thou have to do? Uh, what? What do I have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. And, uh, and the man was journeying with him, uh, stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Oh, we serve an invisible power. Right. And Saul arose from the earth, and when his eyes were open, he saw no man, but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither did he eat nor drink. So pretty much he was fasting. The Lord put him on a fast. Forced fast. You know? And there was and there was a certain disciple. Hey, let me say this, I'm sorry. Let me say this. If the Lord is chastising you, he'll put you to a level where you can't eat or drink. You, you, you can't. If the Lord is chastising you. He'll put you on a level where you won't eat or drink for hours. Well, if something like that happened to you, you see a chariot and the Lord's talking to you, blinded, you ain't gonna want to eat or drink. That's all you can think about, you know? Verse 10, it says, And there was a certain disciple at, this, at Damascus named Ananias, and to him said the Lord in a vision, and Ananias... I, I got some, Bubba Kasha. So you said uh, you'll be sitting there thinking about it? Yeah. So let's go on to Ezekiel real quick. <laughs> when the, what the Lord showed Ezekiel... Hey, let me, let me tell that, you That's something. how I felt when we was watching that, um, that, that, that uh, deacon of Kyle last night. I felt like I saw what Ezekiel was seeing. Yeah, and, and hey, when he looked into the wall, saw the wickedness. You see Deacon Hakal rapping. Yep. Selling merchandise. Girls with long dresses. Alistair with a little drink. Yep. You know, they oh they have they have marriage counseling. Yep. They have uh um oh, what else? Uh, uh, therapy. Therapy of the Sakari varsity. <laughs> so now if you the FBI and you want to infiltrate, you could pay $9.99 and get all the teachings <laughs> from them and go out in the highways. <sighs> he put it all in one place for you. Crazy. Because really, to get this truth, you got to go to a whole bunch of lessons and watch for hours and write notes. But now, because of greed, which Proverbs 23, 23, I believe it says, buy the truth and sell it not. So now, because you're selling it, if an agent wanted to get all this information, they just got to pay taxpayer money, and now they got it. You know, there you go. So check this out, Ezekiel 3 and uh, 14, this is after Ezekiel seeing the angels, right? Right. Ezekiel 3 Ezekiel. and 13, it says, um, I heard also the noise of the wings of the living creatures that touched one another and the noise of the wheels over against them and the noise of a great rushing. So he saw the angels in a chariot chariots so the spirit lifted me up was the chariots or the what, what what the world will call a ufo okay the scriptures also refer to them as a, as a whirlwind or a cloud and it's how the lord left and acts one is also how he's going to return okay so the spirit lifted me up and took me away and i went in bitterness in the heat of my spirit but the hand of the lord was strong upon me then I came to them of the captivity at Tel Abib. Which are who? The Israelites. The Israelites that got brought to Babylon. Okay. That dwelt by the river of Chibar. And I sat where they sat and remained there astonished among them seven days. See? So after he, after the Lord dealing with him, and he saw the, the chariots, and he saw the angels, he sat by the river 
while the, with the rest of his people astonished. You hungry? Just a whole <laughs> Sabbath, you know? Yeah. I Just, believe the same thing happened to Edris, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. He got sick, yeah. you know? So your life changes when the Lord deal with you. And Job. You know? Yeah. Job so wasn't speaking. You, you don't have a, a base mindset. You're not thirsty of ass and club and go to the bar and get numbers. The Lord's dealing with you. Remember, he seeks from sin. Can't, yeah. the, which I'm not saying you get a woman is sinning, but there's sin it lieth at the door. You put on a new man. Yep. And your behavior, you know, your your um your actions tend to change. Priorities are different. Are, are different. <laughs> Instead of you like I need to go out, you know, I need to I need to go in and read. Yeah. I need to go in and read. I need to do a video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I need to go pray. Yep. Yeah. You know? Yep. So the Lord dealing with us is good. Yep. You know? That oh he said, uh, who he loveth he chastised. And then he also said, uh, uh, a bastard, you don't deal with a ba you'll be a bastard. Yeah, if you, if you do, if you're without chastisement, you're a bastard. They you're, call, you're not a son. They call Elzar a mamzer. Right. <laughs> and a bastard is a, is a, is an illegitimate so child, which means you have no right to the heir. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's probably why he don't like Hebrews. Which that's why we got it now by faith, because before we would need a registry to prove who we are, but we, we. We don't prove, we show by our work, our faith. We don't need to prove to, the, to these loser humans who we are. We already know who we are. Right. You know, we're telling you what it is. We're not here to, when you, when you want to debate, you and your spirit are not satisfied with the knowledge you got. So you need self-glorification to prove what you're saying is true. We already know it's true. You brothers coming out here know it's true. We don't, I don't need, I don't need you to know what I know. I don't need you to, I don't need you to uh, look at me as having all this knowledge. Oh, okay, he's got, no, we already know who we got. We're, we're satisfied. They said uh, uh, what's been given us is more what man can receive in Sirach. So we're straight, you know? Got a quick one. Knowing reincarnation. Right. Knowing where you go after death. Right. Understanding death, that's heavy. Most people don't. You know, they, they think they're going to die and go to hell. This you know? place is base. <laughs> This Eric. simple, nasty, overrated, watered-down society filled with Edomites is trash. That's why I'm so happy the Lord is getting ready to judge these fucking Edomites, man. He saw and the nigga. Yep. Yes. God damn. Yep. It's the top enemy yes. out here. There's probably going to be a lot of uh, nigga woman tongues getting cut off, too, because they like sticking them out. There's a lot of judgment coming, man. And the Lord is... is, is Hey, you could get offended at what we say, but how much more with what the Lord does? Well, are you going to be offended when the troops are out here? You know? Well, they're about to institute uh, immigrants in the military so they could come against you. Jade Helm, baby. They're going to come take your food and, yep. and your water. Yep. yep. Speaking in subtitles. And take you. And your daughter. Yep. yep. Right. Take your house. Exactly. Yep. And through executive orders. Yep. It's, on on the, the, it's actually written on the books so they could come and take your shit. Right? Yep. yep. But that's the, that's the prophecy in the address. They shall cast you out of your house and take away your goods. Good. Yep. Good. Mm -hmm. Got a quick one because you know I mentioned the chastening. Yeah. This is uh, Hebrews 12 and verse 6. Hebrews 12 and verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Right, so if the Lord actually loves you, he's going to chastise you. And the chastisement could come in many different ways. You could lose your woman. You can lose your home, whatever it may be, or you can get uh, kidney stones. But that's actually love. That's like the most side. You know what I'm saying? Tough like, love. Tough love. It's like a pat love. on the back. <clears throat> you no. Know? And it says, verse seven: If ye endure chastening, you gotta endure it though. If you endure that that fire, if you endure being in that fire, there's a there's a what? A reward. Yeah. What what do we want? The rewards. Yeah. We're not just out here, um, no, we want to endure until the end. We ain't out here for likes. Right. We ain't out here for a video to go viral. We don't care, you know, because we understand the elect are going to get it no matter what. Right. And we're just out here, we just showing our faith, man. We are, Us we are, being out here, we have faith. Yeah. You know? We are here for salvation. Yeah, we're trying to make it. Yeah, man. And it says, if ye endure chastening. Yeah, so if you notice you catching hell, life is, isn't as easy. You know, people don't like, hey, yo. Hey, fuck it, man. Hey, y'all won't believe, people don't like me. <laughs> people don't like me in the world. I don't give, I'm not that I do anything, but I notice in the spirit, they don't like me. 
You know what I mean? But hey, call all y'all about Smell Set. You know? So that's a good thing. You know? Fuck you too. Yeah, yeah. Like my man Big Rame said in Dawn of Day, he said, since you saw hell yesterday, you scared what God's gonna do. I tell you what, go in the stall, say five Hail Marys, wipe your ass, and you and God are even. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's one of two things. You're not going along with the get, get along. along and you're standing up for what's right. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> they don't like that. Nope. You're gonna be what is it, get on, get yep. on? Or you gonna you know what I mean? They want a nigga with a strong back, not a strong mind. <clears throat> Just like Shane and Sharp, they want nigga like that. Yep. They want Shay Shay. They want Shay Shay niggas. And then and then little cat said, step on that line, boy boy. <laughs> that nigga said, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Lord turned us into men. Right. Get on the well, well, if he keeps going, it says that because there's earthly fathers. Yep. They look good on paper. See, see. So we're dealing with. You want to eat me? Grab some water. Yeah. Philippians three and four, six. Got you, Lord, brother. Got you. Okay. Uh, Hebrews twelve and seven. It says. If ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with the sons. Oh, well, going back to contend, you keep reading the blue letter, it says to enter a match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got to, hey, you got to get the Philly shell. Yep. You got to do the rope of dope. Mm -hmm. You, you got to endure it around. You looking for the, the bell, you know, because if the Lord's dealing with you, you can't quit. You can't be like, okay, time out. I'm, I'm done. No, you got to go through it. It's, you, just, it's just something in your spirit. Yeah. We just program that way. You know? Oh, it says in Sirach, it was created with the faithful from the womb. Mm. You know? Yep. And, uh, and it says, um, for what son is he whom the father chastens not? But if ye, but if ye be without chastisement, or of our all our partakers, then are ye bastards? And we're not the only ones. Everybody's going through stuff, man. You know, this brother. Same thing. Earlier, yep. Same shit. Satan just wants you to make you think it's just you. It's not. It's nope. all. It's every brother. We're all fighting. Yeah. So so what? And other brothers be going through worse. Right? It's, it's, you think you're going through some shit. Someone got it worse than you. You complaining and you <laughs> weak. And another brother who ain't complaining and enduring, he just let you like, damn. So it cuts you if you're in that spirit. Mm -hmm. But the but the Wadi Abashmao Shai for allowing us to have the mindset to understand <clears throat> we ain't the only ones going through things. Right. Mm -hmm. But you have but if a brother falls into that because Satan got him and then he becomes envious and bitter and bitter uh, you ain't dealing with it who said I wasn't right. that's a lie yeah that's a lie some brothers may just handle it better little, you may you don't even know yeah no yeah <laughs> shit we uh it was like 11 o'clock we underneath the, the the vehicle with a fucking blowtorch heating the bolt up so it could break loose which made me realize I said man fire cures everything yeah that furnace will fix it. That's what I'm telling you. You got a problem, put some fire under that ass. Well, that's what the Lord going to do to this place. Exactly. It's going to fix the whore. Yep. Going to burn the whore right out this bitch. Well, that's the law. When you have a whore, a Levite has a whore's daughter, you burn her. Burn her ass. So this place is a whore, so she's mm -hmm. got to burn. Burn, baby. Yeah, rebellions as a sin of witchcraft. Exactly. Exactly. Burn it. Yep. Exactly. Yup, it's called a uh, 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 slash and burn, the uh, ash burning. Cause then what it does is it cultivates the land, and then you now you have virgin soil. So when it hits over in our land, that's gonna be virgin soil. For you to build anything that's code that's up to code by the city standard, it has to be virgin soil. Otherwise, the foundation will be off because the ground will settle, and then the 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 construction will shift. Then it cracks and it breaks. Mm. So you need virgin ground, never been touched. So that's what's gonna happen, you know? Uh, back in Hebrews 12. And then it's gonna be how shy is the foundation. Yep. Remember we all cheered when we got back in our land and we, the foundation got laid, we yep. were praising the Lord. Yep, the heathens heard it. Yep. <laughs> so them niggas back. <laughs> exactly. Hebrews 12 and verse eight, and it says, but if ye be without chastisement. Yo, oh, oh, hey, buy my merch, the whole armor. You ain't going through nothing. You ain't going through nothing. You know? Yep. Whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Which if you're not going, don't take this the wrong way. You know, do not be simple, man. But if you're not going through something, then you really should check yourself, man. You know? And you could have other brothers that, I mean, I'm sorry. No, I, mean, I know. You have your seasons. Yeah. Said the Lord departed for a season. Yeah. 
So don't, don't go looking for shit because you will find right. it. Satan departed for a season. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. Then you got some men that are still being built up to where that they're ready for it. Because the Lord won't give you nothing you can't handle. There you go. So like, you know, like like you, Ira. Now, how long you been coming here? Would you say two years now? Mm -hmm. So you're two years old. Two years old. I'm going I'm to tell you what the UPK told me. <laughs> but no, when I first went, they said, uh, they said, uh, how long you been in the truth? I said, oh, about a year. He said, who you learn from? I said, Great Millstone. He said, oh, you ain't in the truth yet. <laughs> so my point is, with you being IUIC, that they weren't giving you the full truth. So now you come in here, you're a newborn babe. So now you, you're, you're being reborn under the true baptism of Yahweh Shai, not Christ. So now you say, okay, I'm, I'm just a two-year-old. Right, because understanding the, the love and the uh, importance of Yahweh Shai and not the law. Yeah. But things like grace, mercy. Yes. Brotherhood. Yes. Things, you know. And you'll be thankful because it's like, I'm catching hell. So I'm glad I'm around men and teachings that understand that and they're not just basing everything uh, uh, with the law against me, you know? Because when you do that, it's like, damn, brother, you kind of pushing me away, yeah. you know? You caused me to sin. <laughs> you gonna say something a lot? Yeah, that's, uh, that's what the Mormons do. They'll have a teenager and he an elder. Yep. How the hell is the elder? <laughs> but isn't right. the elder a certain point in, uh, age where he, he's a child, a baby, you know, a baby, child, you know what I mean? It's growth. It's levels. It's just like in the spirit. You just coming into the truth. You're a newborn babe. Yep. Desire the sincere milk. Sincere milk. Yep. Exactly. Which, which, the sincere milk is a sure way of salvation. That you may grow thereby. That's it. Fundamental. The simplicity of Yahweh Shai. That's it. We don't. It don't gotta be difficult. All we're doing is getting the breaks down, getting uh, prophecy with the news that's relevant right now. And, and keeping it on the level of the brotherhood. We just wax on, wax off. That's never, it. Never neglect the basics. Nope. Like we could break down Rev 17, you know, we could do that to you. Yeah. But there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, you know, how you say it? There's a lot of beauty in the basics. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's beauty in the, in the basics. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Like, like working out, you, the, what you need to work out is your stabilizer muscles, not immediately the bicep. You got to work out the muscles that hold the bicep. Yeah. Then you get in core. You know, you get in your uh, strength training. Yep. Then you then you move on. You like, oh, okay. Yep. You got to get the form down first. Then it becomes easier. Yep. You know, you start contracting your muscles. Because you could get hurt. Yep. If you don't have the form and you go to do a pull-up, you're going to wonder why your shoulder's hurting the next day. Because you don't... Fucking you, exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say, too, um, oh, I just lost my uh, train of thought. Going into uh, how you said with jealousy too, like the Lord gives each brother their own measure of faith. Yep. So there's certain talents a brother may have, and then it's like you can't get mad at that. You can't yeah. that oh, this brother think he know it all, or this and that, or this brother don't know nothing. But you know? to, to back your brother, that's why self, how you said, um, self-examination, self-sufficiency, self-examination, also self-improvement is, is so perfect. Because the Lord said, if if, he, if any man lacks anything, let him ask of the Lord. Right. Whether it be wisdom, right. whether you need the more um, memory, whatever it is, the Most High will give that to you, man. Right? Right. And then from that, you, you just build and you build and you keep perfecting yourself. Right. You know? That's really, what else do we have here? Every day you must continue to grow and self-improve. Whatever you're lacking, you ask the Lord, okay, for that spiritual attribute, then you build upon that foundation. Mm -hmm. You know, in the brotherhood, so you might be weak in the area. This brother be strong, right? Exactly, because the there's different parts of the body. You exactly. know, like this brother may be very good in the Hebrew. This brother may be very good in the herbs, you history. That's how it works. Yeah, you know. Yeah. What's that one Corinthians for the, twelve? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for. Yeah, it. go. We're, to, we're different parts of the body, but we're, first we're, we're in the same yeah. body. Nine, right? nine eighty-seven. And ain't, ain't no part on your body that's less important than the other one. <laughs> that's that's. That's first Corinthians. Yeah. See? Good. We all need each other. You know what I'm saying? You're going gonna, gonna to tell your nose you don't need your nose? You know? First Corinthians 12 and uh, so if you have, first, That's a demon. Started. I'm sorry. To make you to make you feel less or unimportant. You know what I mean? Yeah. First Corinthians 12 and verse 1 and it says <clears throat> Wait till you bros get it. Okay. First Corinthians 12 and 1 it says, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant 
uh, ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Now, when it says Gentiles, it's dealing with the, the Israelites who are in a Gentile state of mind. In Gentile lands. In Gentile lands, speaking Gentile languages, worshiping Gentile gods, keeping their customs, dressing like them. That's why the Lord warned us. He said, when I send you to the land, don't do after the custom of the heathen. You know, don't get caught up in their ways. Don't, you don't, know? Yeah, don't, don't, don't start piercing your... your <laughs> Your, your tongue and shit. Yeah. What crazy shit these heathens you, do. You go up in Elam and her hips, you know, they be shaking. <laughs> hips don't lie. Right, her hips. You got to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to watch what you're doing, brother. Belly dancing. Yeah. Oh, the snake charmers. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Weird shit the heathens do. Yeah. Right? That, was, that was part of the curse. That's why he sent us to those <clears throat> Yeah, because you wanted to be him. You could fall susceptible to some bullshit. Yep, yep. which Jake you know? did. Yeah. Keep going. Jake up there worshiping Buddha. Buddhism. <laughs> <laughs> Ver, uh, verse 3, and it says, uh, Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of the Most High <clears throat> calleth Yahweh Shai cursed, and that no man can say that Yahweh Shai is the Lord. But by the Holy Spirit. Right, so you have to have the Holy Spirit on you to even confess that Yahweh Shai is the Lord. That's how we know. That's how you, that's how you try the Spirit, by the Spirit. Yeah. You see? So these guys that say Jesus Christ off their tongue, mm -hmm. teaching, they ain't got the Holy Spirit. Yep. They ain't got the Holy Going Spirit. Right yep. circles. They're, Shikari. They're resisting the Holy yep. Spirit yep. in uh, real time. Yep. yep. Shikari, IHBK, IUIC, GOCC. Uh, all these guys right off the tongue say Jesus Christ and God because mm -hmm. they don't got the, the Holy Spirit would intervene and we don't want to hear that excuse so we just using it you know no push the true name mm -hmm. right stand on something because there's power in the true name it tells you that in the epilogue of Sirach you know mm -hmm. but they're not being chastised so that's why they don't call on it when you being chastised the only thing out your mouth is yeah watch your mouth yeah yeah, watch my side. Baba Kasai, I repent. Shit, you know? earlier the cops behind us, we was praying. Yep. We was all Please. quiet. We was talking the whole time. All of a sudden, the cops behind us, everybody quiet. Because we all praying. Please, y'all, watch your right. side. Don't catch a fucking pedophile, man. Yo, leave us alone. Do something honorable with your life. Damn. And it says, verse 4 Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Remember, it said he gave them gifs. Powers. Yeah, powers. Like the X-Men. Yeah. You know, not, not every X-Men had the, you know. Yeah. Not every X-Men is Cyclops. Right. You right. got Cyclops, you got Wolverine, you got Sabretooth, you know. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. Right, the same Lord. We serve the same God, don't we? You know. Like a team. Blood brothers. Do the blood of Yahweh shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Like a team. Not everybody can be the quarterback. Oh, Dennis Rodman. Yeah, he wasn't scoring, but he was getting those rebounds. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. So be a good lineman. If you alignment, you know, do that to the fullest. Yep. Whatever your position is, you you're thankful you got it, and not envious of another. <clears throat> like like you brothers, even being out here, you're doing the work. So don't feel like, so don't feel like you're not doing the work. You know? yeah. Right. Keep going. And it says verse uh, six. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same power which worketh <clears throat> all in all. Right, you got certain parts of your body you can't even touch. What? You know? You know, I mean you can't put your heel to your shoulder. Right. They never but you got brothers that brothers never met. But they're in the same body is what I'm getting at. Right. You know? Keep going. But the manifestation of the <laughs> spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given the, is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the <clears throat> same Spirit. And, and and let me get this in Romans 12 and 3, because you were reading Romans 12, remember, Kratza? Yeah. yeah. Watch this, the next verse, which proves this is all the Holy Spirit. This ain't us. See how the Lord puts it all together? You know, as if you would think, this brother's holding a teleprompter and it was all scripted. This is the Holy Spirit. Real quick, Romans 12 and 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as Yahweh has dealt to every man the measure hey, of you faith. Know what to do, you, you know what you know to bring you to that level? Chastisement. 
you know, because the knowledge will puff you up, but that chastisement will bring you back down. Yeah, you laughing, ha, ah, and then you hear some fucking rattling in your car. Oh, shit. It'll humble you. Apostle Paul? Yeah, he said, he said, I'm I'm right. right, don't he worship said, me. Said, don't worship me, he said, I'm nobody. Exactly. Yeah. He said, I don't, I don't think I'm poor. He said, this is the hard. Uh, yep. I don't think I'm poor. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't know about it. Exactly. And, and, and what would it profit you if you knew who you were? Exactly. It wouldn't profit <clears throat> us nothing. Right. I mean, captivity. Yeah. Still. You got to get right. delivered. Wait until you have a shot. That, it works. Yeah, it would. Because that, that, that would put spirits on you. Yep. When you think about it. Yep. Oh. I got uh, something. So it's the definition of, uh, did you say grace? By the grace? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, by the grace given. So the word there for grace, that Strong's 5485 is Horus, which means the merciful kindness of Yahweh by Shimei mm. That's it. Uh, back in Corinth, 1 Corinthians 12. So you know what I noticed this camp's been about is establishing the order of the church and, the, and defending the gospel that the church bears against those that are trying to disrupt the building of it. So these Israelites are nothing more than those heathens that uh, during the time of the building. Well, we had to build and have the sword. Exactly. The adversaries rose up against Judah and Benjamin, you know? Mm -hmm. So they're raising up against us while we're just building. We're here building. <laughs> that raw material. I don't think that's the right blueprint, you know? Who made who made you the uh, yep. foreman? Yep. Uh, who are you to even be questioning that? Right, you you just a fucking uh, uh, laborer. Yeah, you know we've been from out Craigslist, here. right, nigga? <laughs> no, no, no. You on Cra You just got on a job from Craigslist asking for under the table money because you don't want child support to take none from you, <laughs> nigga. Sit your ass down. <laughs> Shit. Exactly. Right. Then leave. <laughs> Then you, you know? How many times I say that, brother? I say, if somebody come in this house and don't like, then you guys shouldn't even be in here then. Oh, the, the, that goes with the wedding garment. Yep. You know, you're in the wedding, but you don't got the wedding garment. He got to fit it on. Because you have an issue with the wedding garment. He talking to the bridesmaid. He got right. the, He got his arm over her <laughs> with the cup. Shalom. Hey. Get your ass off of her. Like, he got hey, that man. shirt on with yeah. the uh, tuxedo shirt. Yeah. <laughs> he got a tucked in turtleneck. <laughs> Talking about where the drinks at. <laughs> Came in the door like Pinky. How Merry foolish. Christmas, nigga. How foolish, man. That's the spirit they're in, though. Yep. How foolish. That's why King David said, "I'd rather uh, dwell. I'd rather be a doorkeeper." That's it. That's the spirit we got to be in. You know. Because uh, the Lord said, "Oh, he that is humble, he shall be lifted up anyway." Yep. You know. Uh, back, it's a little more Corinthians. Yeah, it's good. Uh, back in 1 Corinthians 12, uh, and uh, yeah. verse it off, uh, 10, it says, okay. To another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecy, to another. Yeah, you got some brothers just prophesize. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I tell brothers, hey, you could do lessons exhorting, you could do lessons on this, but a lot of times, brothers just pro pro prophecy, 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 because there's so much going on. But that's what the Lord put on on that spirit. Exactly. But then you have well-rounded men that can do all of those things. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. But if you have what if you have a, there's a quote by Bruce Lee said, "I fear not the man that knows a thousand kicks, but the man that perfected one." By he perfected that kick a thousand times. Why? Right, think you know, kick the shit out your ass. Right. And it says, <laughs> "To another discerning of spirits, to another." Right. So some brothers have very heavy. Very heavy disturbance. Very like, yo, that nigga's a demon. I said, Moron, hey, he's a demon. And sure enough, he turned out to be one of the biggest demons we ever fought against, oh, man. When oh, we first man. started, Mabak, you remember? Wow. It was, yo, the spirit revealed he was a mo. Yeah. yeah. It was a mo, yeah. and he came up with his soak. He said his son. I said, that's your boyfriend. He like right? to eat Yeah, bro. This, yo, we, we, cause there's one thing if you listen to brothers that have been in the truth for a long time. There was always a special demon that yep. messed with them. Yep. That would mess with them and mess with them. Because yep. it was saying trying to get you off the street. Yep. So yep. we had that over there on St. Paul. Uh, Ermac, pretty cool. Ermac, yep. nigga had the fedora hat And the on. Lord got his ass too. Yeah, had yeah. him rolling in the street. Yep. He's probably dead yeah. now. Yeah. For real, the Lord got his ass. We ain't seen him in a minute. Yeah. Yep. Him and his boyfriend. Yep. They're probably both, they're probably both dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Back in First Corinthians. Nigga looked like a, a evil Anderson Silva. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you, bro. He was a terror. Yeah. He was a terror. I promise you. That's, that's, a, that's a cold ass description. That's how you look, too. Yeah. With a fedora on. Yeah. <laughs> talk about, I only listen to Hebrew radio. He was like, who the fuck is this dude? I'm like, bro, don't talk to him. I said, bro, stop talking to him. <laughs> Back in First Corinthians 12. And verse, you know, uh, don't say Paul days, man. Days. There is different. Yeah. We got shit thrown on us. <laughs> yeah. You know, we got we 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 left St. Paul. It was like the Lord was like, you got to get off the street. Yeah. And then when we got off there, that shit closed down. The yeah. whole shit got condemned it's over there. Ghost town over there. Spirit left. Yep. Back in First Corinthians twelve and verse uh, ten, and it says to another, <clears throat> diverse kinds of tongues. To another. The interpretation of tongues. Right, a lot of brothers can understand, break down different languages, Hebrew, Spanish, Greek. Some of us speak Italian. Yep. Yeah. You got GMS Italy out there. Yep. Sign language. Sign language. That's heavy. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, it says uh, they got ears, but can I hear? Well, I'll give it to you in sign language. Mm -hmm. No excuse. No excuse. Verse uh, 11. But all these, th but all these work of that one and the same and the self same spirit it's the, all the same spirit though. to glorify you how about some outside it's mm -hmm. just a different gift hey you know it's heavy uh i used to say this in the world because i didn't understand but i uh you when a team would finally win the championship they would talk to the coach and i was like man his ass ain't out there but it was the coaching that led Ooh. them to that right so the the so when the coach who yeah how about some outside so the, the, the glorification got to go to the coach mm -hmm. To the father, yeah, you know, the meaning of the word coach means like a leader or head. There you, the head, the head, the head of the church is Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Well, if you understand what a coach is, he actually was once a player. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So mm -hmm. he yep. Actually has experience. Yep. So that yep. goes with Hebrews. He said, uh, "How does it says of your brethren, he came down in the flesh, it like behooved him. Yep. Like you. Yep. Once a player means Yahweh Shai was once down here. Yep. You know, he, he's blameless though." So no one could say anything like, you don't know what it's like. Right. <clears throat> yeah. well, just a little more. Uh, verse uh, ele uh, 11, and it says, Dividing to every man uh, severally as he will, for as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's the point right And there. this one body ain't found in Dallas. <laughs> but shout out to the elders and the beloved brothers that are in Dallas right. and Houston. Right, all over. Texas, you know, and all over. Yep. But y'all see, the, but you notice you have guys that have these good names and they're, they're completely opposite. They're, they used to call themselves one body in Yahweh Shai. Now it's just one body in Dallas, you know? Somebody gonna find one of them bodies. <laughs> y'all notice that. <laughs> Because Satan ain't on them right now. Well, it's, uh, smite the shepherd is sheep, sheep shall scatter. scatter. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they, the most high is going to scatter them. Yep. Just like they're scattering the, the most high sheep. Hey, well, the Lord, that's a good point. The Lord does a lot of uh, unexpected things, man. Like a, one of the, what, you know, one of the traits of a great movie is when a character who has a main role dies, you're like, damn, I was, I thought this dude was going to be here to the end. Yeah. And you like, you got to change your whole perception of what you're watching. So it says the judgment must begin at the house of the ancient man first. So guys that are the chiefs, and you got to be careful. You don't know if your number's on the chopping block, man. The covenant of the grave, it's not showed unto you. Yeah, that's why but the, the way they're acting is like, you know, they know it all. They, well, they got the whole armor on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> really, they're naked. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but buy my merch. <laughs> oh, let me say this too. And Deacon Akai, you're using the Queen of Heaven demon to sell your merchandise. I noticed that he's got women portraying the hoodies. That's what Esau does, and that's a Queen of Heaven. You see a woman with a pretty face, now you want to buy it. You're a demon, man. Did you get that in um, Philippians? Nope, I got it right now. This is Philippians. Going to Philippians 3 real quick. Philippians 3 and 6. <clears throat> yeah, I believe like 6 to 9. Okay. Okay. This is Philippians, uh, this is Philippians 3 and 1. <laughs> he just got us. We, we can't enter mid-conversation. That's like clicking on a YouTube video and you 10 minutes in. Like when I, when I see Brothers Live, I got to go back. I need, I need to know what got y'all to this part, you know? 
This is Philippians 3 and 1. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Evil workers. Mm -hmm. Evil niggas. Yep. Okay. Speaking things that they are not, especially they have the circumcision. Those would be the worst ones. Man. Yep. Beware of the concision. Uh, one of, you, want, you want that word? Yeah. I believe it goes into. Uh, <coughs> okay. okay. Philippians 3 and uh, 2. Con concision. Could you, what happened? Yeah, I, my phone's available. Yeah, I got you. I got my water. Yeah. Real quick, hold on. So let's go into this word concision. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. My English is bad. Uh, Philippians 3 and 2. The word con uh, concision means. Oh, she put the charge in it. Yep. It means uh, uh, to cut up mutilation. So beware of those that are trying to cut up the doctrine. Right. Mutilate the, the body that's being laid. It says, for we are the circumcision. See? So that's what he's saying. Beware of them. It says, which worship Yahweh in the spirit. Right, not in the flesh. Nope. The spirit. Yep. Nope. It says, uh, uh, and rejoice in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai and have no confidence in the flesh. Don't have no Why? Gun. Because in the flesh dwell it no good thing. No. Nope. You know? <clears throat> There's nothing good in this flesh, man. Yeah. It's, it's all yeah. eat, eat, eat. Consume. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Yeah. Consume, yeah. consume, yeah. lust. Sex. Kiss, sex, kiss, sex. push, push. Yeah. You know? And it's never enough. Yeah. Oh, I hate nope. that. Like these people out here, man, that, that sold their soul, they're through. Yeah. They're never going to be satisfied. Nope. They got all the money, all the this, that. But then what? You get old, you get sick. Then it what what creature doesn't realize is satisfaction satisfaction comes ultimately through the spirit. So you get all these things, but your spirit isn't right. Because your spirit is still yearning for something. Because you're a spirit. Right. You're a spirit. And for you in, in this in this flesh, you are a spirit, and your spirit needs care. Yes. You no. Know? Yes. And how do you care for your spirit? Uh, praying. Firstly, how about Shimei Shai? Praying to you, how about Shimei Shai? Fasting. Yeah. Reading, yeah. meditating, yeah. things of that nature. Yep. Yeah. You know, you don't you're not taught that in this world. Yeah. That's looked at as uh as lame. Yeah. You know? Yeah, unfulfilling. They got a thing saying uh, money can't buy you love. What's the true love? The heavenly father and his son, that's 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 what true love is. And it reads, though I might also have confidence in the flesh, right? Yeah, yeah, I got some confidence. That's, but that's because we 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 doing works in the flesh, right? And by those works, we're showing our faith. Yep. You know. Yep. It says, "If any other man thinketh that he has whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more." Because why? The spirit circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel. Right. Of the, this is Paul telling you his, his lineage. I was circumcised. I mean, he was following the law. He's raised up in the law. He was raised up as a Jew. To be circumcised on the eighth day, that means, you know, you had to be raised up as a Jew. You know? Of the tribe of Benjamin. And he knew his tribe. He knew his registry. Yep. Okay. Came from wealth. He didn't come from being cast off. It says, in Hebrew of the Hebrews. The Hebrew of the Hebrews. But they say, nowhere in the Bible says we're Hebrew Israelites. Right. That's a cut. Why <laughs> he say that? Like, bruh, stop. Stop with the contention. Damn. Damn. You got the food out and you want to know who made the potato salad. I, I, just, I, I really feel like they just say whatever comes to their head. Which is Satan. You know? And you can't. Being, it's called being presumptuous. You know? Right. It says, as touching the law, a Pharisee. So he, under, he was studied in the law. Yep. Well versed. Yep. Okay. Yep. Like we, we're into the law. We know, the, but we're not pushing the law on brothers more than the faith in Yahweh Shai. There's no need to because if we do that, that will make Yahweh Shai's death of uh, vain. Vain. That means Yahweh Shai died in vain. That was the whole reason we all here is to push Yahweh Shai unto you. Exactly. You know? Yep. Concert, right. When Pradizaba came up, what we say? He said, what's the name of the Lord, brother? He said, Yahweh Shai. Yep. Right? 
Yeah. He's hey brother, we like your fringes. You want to buy some more? Right. We ain't, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, if you buy three more, we give you a staff. <laughs> and you can be out here saying, cut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that won't benefit none of us. Nah. It'll be evil. You know? Because we all we all gonna be in Jacob's trouble, man. Right. You know, we're all gonna be in this position of uh, the kingdom of heaven comes through much tribulation. So the spirit is building us up now so that we have what we need. Because I tell you what, man, when you are in Jacob's trouble and you're a false prophet, hey, Satan going to toy with you what you did. Because guess that happened to what? Judas. Yeah, yeah. Remember, he felt so bad that he actually killed himself. That's why he, he confessed and he repented. That's what it means when he gushed out, not his bowels. Yeah. He yep. gushed, he let it all out. Everything that was on his heart, his mind. Yep. Which, which it's yeah. not in the scriptures, but it's to believe that the reason Judas uh, gave you how shy up, he was trying to force his hand. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, when you're spiritually extrapolating, yeah. it makes sense. The reason why he uh, gave away the Lord's location so he could force his hand yep. to release that, that power. Yep. Yeah. What did he say? Yeah. He said, I have the power to call down a legion right now. Yeah. When well, he was on the mission. So Judas believed. Yeah. You know, so it's messed up when you think about it, but it, it was need be. It had to happen that yeah. way. Well, you know? He's going to be in the kingdom. Yeah, so it'll yeah. be good. Yep. Yeah. That yeah. was just his position. Yeah. That, that he was, had. A, oh, sorry, that, that was the same thing when, he, um, when, the, when the centurion was coming to get y'all shot when Peter took out the sword and cut his shield. No, no, no. We'll call around. Right. My name is Stan. Yeah, this is called the same thing. Yeah, the um, the, yeah. it was a chief, it was a chief priest servant. Yeah, but it was, it was an Israelite. Milka, yeah, something like that. Yeah, but right, and he's like, yo, you can. He healed him. He's like, you can't do that. You gotta allow this to. You gotta allow prophecy to play out. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And it says, um, uh, three and six. It says uh, concerning zeal, persecuting the church. Touching the righteousness. Right, so he was zealous. Yeah. He was being very zealous for the Lord, the law, his customs, his people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But out of ignorance, though, because they didn't understand Yahweh Shai. Now right. everybody knew it. That's why the Lord set up apostles to go and teach yeah. Yahweh Shai and his mission. That's why if you have men that are of the elect in other camps, they're going to come out of that. They're going to come out of Because they were like, damn, I was doing that sincerely. You know, I was sincerely living by the law because I sincerely believed this is what I needed to do. But then like Paul being the example shows you the Lord's got to do something to that man or men to wake them up to show them, no, that's not the way. That's why Paul had a reputation of basically the slayer of the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so that was the power that the Lord showed that I could I could convert any Israelite back to me. Right. You know? Right. That was a major chess move. Yeah. You know, and Paul ended up going to the hardest. Yep. Yeah. Well, probably because of his wickedness. He had to. So a lot of times the wickedness you've done, that puts you on a better path to the Lord's because now you're more contrite. Like I, I think about things that I did in the world, which I knew I was a Gentile, but I was like, damn. You get like, you get a little, but we understand the grace and then you're thankful for it. But that's why it says in Hedras, be not overcome by yep. the evil yep. which you have done. Yep. You know, that's a very comforting scripture. Exactly. Right? Yep. But then if you just pushing the law on me, I'm like, damn, man, I'm finished. If it's, if it's up to the law, we're all we're done. Dead, man. We're done. You know, how, like how many? Well, I'll give you an example. I'm sorry. The mere fact, as soon as you were born, you were done. Yep. I'm gonna tell you why. We could go more into detail, but I'm gonna give you one example why. Because you were circumcised immediately, instead of the eighth day. Or not at all. Do you know exactly? Do you know why it's the eighth day and not immediately? Because your body produces something called vitamin K, which allows blood clotting. So they induce your body with an excess amount as a baby so that they can cut you and you don't bleed to death. That's why by the eighth day, your body produces enough of this vitamin so that you can be snipped and you can heal naturally. So that right there alone is off. Or the epidural, you come out high. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's all types of shit. The mother's eating unclean food. So we're we're finished from the rip. Oh, what what if your mother adultery? Had, uh, adultery. Yeah. She wasn't a virgin. There's so many things, you know, that that take part. That it's like, man, we're done, man. Yep. Yep. Even King David said, "I was shaping it in sin and iniquity that my mother conceived." Yep. Me. I was born uh, through adultery. Out of wedlock. All right, I U I C. You know, they they they, the, my mother family told her to abort me. 
So they try to take me out. They try to take me out. You know, not to get on me like I'm, but I'm saying, when I heard the story, I'm like, damn, they was gunning for me. You know, then when my mother was pregnant with me, they tried to shoot her. So, my, so they was trying to get me for a long time. They was trying to get you, man. So you have brothers that have testimonies like that. Like, yo, I almost didn't make it here. But Premature. That's, that's like the Matrix. Exactly. Like the Matrix. You know? So the water y'all about some outside, that we've been woken up to the truth and in the time of grace. Because if not, it'd be straight war. You know? It'd be straight war to, to bring Maccabees. You know what I mean? The fact that you brought that out, that's why the, the A to the B to the O, you know, R is an abomination yeah. because it's prophets you could be trying to kill off. That's exactly. Safety. That's exactly what they're trying to do. That you know Herod. They're uh, trying to cut off our lineage and go yeah. back to Herod, the water. Yeah. Remember that? Yep. He exactly. wanted to take Yahweh Shai out as a baby. That's why there was a great crying from Rachel and they had to go to Egypt. Remember that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Or then and then and then in Egypt they were throwing the males to the alligators. Piece of shit. So Africa, we coming for you too, man. Ham. Ham. You know? Uh Philippians <clears throat> 3 and uh 6 concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. Hey, Elazar, you're persecuting the church and you persecuting Paul. So who are you? You know what I mean? You against everybody. The persecutor. Yeah. The violator. And you don't want to worship the Right. Yeah. You're just done. It says, um, uh, but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for right. Hamashiach. So things you might have gained in this world, we count that, we count it lost now. Yeah. If you lose it, you're not bugging out over it. Fuck it. Bro. Nope. You know? Yep. Lord didn't want me to have it. Because you understand there's so much more to gain. Mm -hmm. Being a joint heir with the Lord. You know, you're going to get everything. Yep. You know? It says, and, yeah. And more, because it said, in my father's house are many mansions. Yep. Good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Amashiach Yahweh Shai, my Lord. So we're not swayed by this world. We're not swayed about cars. You can only drive so fast. Yep. You know, you get a you get a nicest car, you still got to obey the speed limit. It's still gonna break down. You're still gonna need car parts. Yep. You know? Yep. You could have millions of dollars, your ass still could go broke. Man. It's the end of a it's the end of the age, you man. Still could die or nothing. It don't matter. These people don't matter. It's, it's your loss. It's the end of an age. I don't care. Right. Woman reject you. Okay. Hey, that's her loss. Yep. You're rejected. She, she don't know. She don't know. You know what I mean? She don't know what the fuck's about to happen. Yep. She don't know who the Lord allowed her to come across. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. And it says, um, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Hamashiach. What's dung? Shit. Doo -doo. <laughs> Reminds me of when Mike Tyson, he flipped the, the belt. He said, it's nothing. This ain't shit. It's, it's crap. He, it's he, crap. he reached the understanding of it, man. Yep. This, is, this is the true what you want. Yep. You know? And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which... Which is of the law. Woo! See, you get your own righteousness by living by the law. He said, uh, he said, <laughs> he said, I wear fringes, but even in the house. Right? <laughs> he said, uh, he said, uh, he said, uh, if cop pull up, we bail on him. I only eat fish with scales on him. <laughs> so that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's glorifying himself because of the law. He's brat, he's boasting because of law. It's not, <laughs> it's not even of works. You know? Child play, bro. Damn. These are children. Yeah, they are. They're man. they're fucking babies in the spirit, man. Bad ass, bad ass kids. They're, they're babies in the spirit. <laughs> they're babies in the spirit. They're not ready to deal with Satan on, on a side that of chastisement. They're not ready to be locked in a room and being deal with, with the Lord. They're not ready, man. <clears throat> they're not ready. That's why Alazar, ancient Alazar, not new Alazar, but ancient Alazar, he uh, made a decree to kill their women and children before the Romans came in. And then Josephus, during the war of 66 and 70 AD, he said, let's kill all, what the fuck you mean kill? I'm not kill my baby, man, or my women. Mass murder suicide. Yeah, exactly. Uh, was Jim Jones. Exactly, was Jim Jones with CIA. 
And Jim Jones had none but thick, big booty black women in his congregation. You know that? All them big, thick black women that are here today were there back then. For real. I'm for real, bro. Drinking the Kool-Aid. Drinking the Kool-Aid. Now you wonder why I go to my milk of magnesia. Right. <laughs> I'm playing. Drinking the hell out of it. It says, uh, and be, um, it says, uh, and be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of a Mashiach, the righteousness which is of Yahweh by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. So that's what? Taking up your cross. Right. You know? Is that it, brother? That was pretty much it. Okay. Then if, uh, flip me, I mean, uh, Ephesians 2, 14. This is uh, Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 2 <laughs> and verse 14. It says, for he is our peace woo, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall. Yeah, of I'm sorry. When you go through it, right? <clears throat> when you go through it, what gives you peace? That you are wearing fringes or that Yahweh Shai is coming? The knowledge of Yahweh Shai is coming. You know, cause mm -hmm. I get, I have more hell with Babylon than not living by all the laws. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. And it says, it says, uh, verse fourteen, and had broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Now, when you go into that word partition, the word there is hedge or fence. Okay. In my sword, <clears throat> I'm gonna read the legend. It says, um, it says. And this shows you uh, a piece of tablet that they found on the um, outer wall, the temple. It says, archaeologists have found one full copy and two fragmentary copies. And you know that was Esau. Only Esau found that. Because if Jake found it, he would be called a thief. But if Esau found it, he's an archaeologist. Right. You know? It says, of the inscriptions in Latin and Greek designed to warn Gentiles about entering the temple in Jerusalem. That's the Acts 21. I believe it's like uh, 28. It says the inscription reads, no foreigner is to go beyond the balustrade and the plaza to the temple zone. Whoever is caught doing so will have himself to blame for his death, which will follow. Trespassing is private property. Members only. Yep. And our peacemaker, his reconciling death on the cross has made the two Jews and Gentiles into one. That's why Jake's today that bug out about everyone could be saved. They don't understand the severity of our holiness as a people that no heathens could be found within us. But what they use as is an evil eye towards their brother and not accepting their brothers that were cast away. So Jake bugs out like those Boston bean pies. And they think that that means now like her, come sister, stand with us. No. It's talking of because we were you, when we get in the kingdom, we're gonna find out how like how knit we were. We we're a very private nation of people. Like Jake now, Jake's private people. Right? You know, like you know, I don't hang a lot of people, my circle's small, you know what I mean? Our, our laws. It says prove friends, not let every man in their house. So there's a lot of things that we as a nation live by. Because we are constantly at war, fighting. So there was a lot of lock tight, keep things. Close quarters. 300 shields. Right, shield up wall. So it could have been this is an infiltrator. We're being invaded. Who are this coming in? You're not on our registry. You're not welcomed here. Aaron's sons died lighting the wrong incense. We don't, we could be judged if we let you in. Yeah. See? Even, yep. uh, even pre integration, Jake was more family oriented mm. than it is now with all the liberty. Yep. Uh, meshing uh, yep. in Esau society. Yep. We, well, we all fucked up now. Yep. Um, you know, I think Martin Luther uh, King King said that I've uh, led, led my, my people, people to a burning, burning house. house. Yep. Trying to yep. Exactly. <laughs> I heard I heard a Jake make a joke. He said, uh, he said MLK didn't die for that. He said, well, MLK, MLK died so we could have Drake and Steph Curry. Jeez. <laughs> Man. Pretty much so we could have, you know, Israelite foreigners. Right. You know, so we could pop white says Gentiles do not become Jews but the two groups become one at a deeper level 
Okay. Yeah, because remember it says he is a Jew inwardly. By the Spirit. And then by nature they do according to the law. Heathens don't do according to the law. I got a good example. So we had a car situation. Our neighbor downstairs is a fucking demon heathen Edomite who, who sees us working on our car for two days in a row. He didn't offer to help, but our neighbor next door who's fucking Laos, who's an Israelite, yep. gave us tools, everything we needed to help us because he's an Israelite. Yep. He's a straight up Israelite in the yep. spirit. I know it for a fact. Yeah, he is. That's the thing. And he did he did that by nature because we're his neighbor. Here, here, man. You good? You know, and I said, man, I'm gonna have to take care of this man. That's loving thy neighbor as thyself. Exactly. But that's an Israelite. That's not because you live next door. That's exactly. because you're it's an Israelite spirit. Exactly. Right. Yeah. You know? Which he what he did was according to the law because neighbor mean your Israelite brother. Exactly. Not because you're literally downstairs or next door. Right. So what he did is proven the Apostles Paul uh, writings to be authoritative. It says the most high power has torn down the middle wall of partition and removed the hatred forever. Meaning, hey, just because you can't prove who you are, you can't, uh, uh, you don't have a tribe don't mean you ain't of my people too you know that's why i said is he gonna go amongst the dispersed right. amongst the gentiles exactly yes he's going amongst the jakes that were scattered to teach them i have sheep that are not of this fold where are those sheep you know and, and says by wall paul likely had in mind the area in the jerusalem temple that separated the court of the gentiles from the temple the temple, that's why they wanted to kill him in Acts 21. It says the temple was constructed on an elevated platform around it was the east, was the court of the priest. Wait a minute. Herod helped rebuild, helped the restoration of the temple. But you talk, you want to go after Paul, but you wasn't going after Herod. Herod's a heathen. But remember, Herod was practicing our customs. Yeah, he was. See? But look at my point. And then when you go to John 11 and 47, he said, uh, the Romans will come away, come and take away our place because Jake got their, um, Jake got their, uh, funding from the Romans. Jake got their funding, uh, during the time of the Greeks. But now you got a pro, you got 501c3, but you got a problem if somebody looks like a so-called white person in our camp and you're getting white people money. Man. Vegas, Vegas, man. Yo, Phineas. <clears throat> so, yeah, he, right, yeah. Fucking bullshit. That's bullshit, bro. It says, for the east was the court of woman. These three courts were all on the same eleva elevation as the temple. Oh, so they had a court for the women. So now we gotta go on IUIC Com board and tell them, <laughs> yeah, I gotta you gotta get a different room, bro. I don't wanna see no more uh Sister Saturday's uh uh spelling bees. You know what I'm saying? You better separate the men from the women. It says from here. A walled platform was five steps away. Fourteen steps away was another wall, which was the outer court of the Gentiles. Mm. There was an inscription on this wall warning Gentiles of their ensuing death if they entered the enclosure, enclosure around the temple. Well, that's how Jake acts now with the camps. You know, you had uh, uh, Adam Abbott. They told this one Jake who looks like an Edomite. He said, we're going to murder you. Remember wow. he said that? I wow. sent the video. I might have showed y'all, but guess who got their hands on it? Haman, Vocab. Yep. Because what's done in the dark will come to light. You know? That's why you got to be just truthful and sincere. But they they have that spirit right now. You on the sun? Well, get your ass out of here. You can't do that, bro. You can't do that. It says, in Hamashiach, this dividing wall was broken down, thus banishing the specific commandments that separated Jews from Gentiles. What about the Northern Kingdom? Exactly. That, that's part of the Gentiles too. Exactly. Uh, the movie Apocalypto. Those are Gentiles. Yep. You know? It says the burden of the commandments was taken away at the cross in our Lord's crucified body. Mm. The goal was not merely to reconcile two groups, but to, but to reconcile them both unto the Heavenly Father. It says the one body is the church. The new humanity, the, new humanity, the place of peace at the cross, everything that caused enmity or hatred between us and the Most High, the whole side destroyed that. Man. Prince of Peace. He reconciled us. You know? Beautiful. 
Is that it? Yeah, that was it. All right. And with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Kakodash. I want to give double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.